and Lunar Welcome. Welcome. It's no longer more like. Huh. I'm okay. For me, it kind of was because I couldn't sleep. So. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> Smoke up. Wet light. <laughs> you have time for the whole thing. Good. Um, <clears throat> later, after we beat this, I want to play the Arrakis map again. I've done some fixes. Uh, because someone played it and we found out another bug with the events and then my oversight with another one, so now it should be in a better shape. So let's see how, how long this one takes. I suspect two hours? Yeah. I'm gonna have to let the cats in here because they are going crazy. They've been fat and everything, but they just want company, I guess. So I'll have to, I'll have to have them here. Which is unfortunate. Because they will not leave me alone. instructions to go with the map. I've taken the liberty to put them into the AI, not the Caesar AI, but regular TTS. Because it's long, it's like 2200 words, so if it's something like that, I'm usually not gonna read it myself. Uh, okay. So let's stop that, let's bring back music from Caesar, and we'll be looking at the map while we listen to the instructions, I think. So, oh, actually, there's the initial message, uh, which it actually has the instructions, I think, on it. So we cannot look at the map. Well, we can. I just have to load it again to see the see the message. Fine. Um, let's take a look. Let's just skip this and um, take a look at the map from this view, and we'll play play the instructions. Welcome, Governor, to the magnificent region of Valle Arosha, located at the foot of the majestic Alps. You have a unique opportunity to build and develop a new village in this untamed and breathtaking landscape. Your journey will take you across a small mountain pass, revealing vast grassy plateaus that provide a promising foundation for your settlement. Construct housing, develop infrastructure, and establish a thriving economy with the limited resources available locally. Your primary objective is to achieve a population of 4,000 inhabitants, commencing with a starting budget of 2,400 denarii. Your city will be built between two fertile meadows already cultivated by native farmers. It is utmost importance to approach the process of colonization with respect for the locals and their established farming practices. As your city grows and flourishes, gradually earning the acceptance and trust of the natives, you will gain access to the abundance of fertile fields they manage. 
Cultivating harmonious relationships with the locals is a key element in this peaceful province, contributing to your overall success. Trade opportunities in this region primarily occur over land routes. To start your economy, consider selling unprocessed food to the nearby town of Greedham. Furthermore, the area is renowned for its exceptional vineyards so capitalizing on the production and export of high-quality wines will prove lucrative. As your city progresses, you will have the opportunity to establish processing industries. However, it is essential to bear in mind that our local industries, which process imported goods, may yield limited income due to the high prices of the required resources. Speaking of resources, it will be necessary to import essential goods for the expansion of your city, such as furniture, clay, and olives, as they are not readily available in the vicinity. Additionally, the existing infrastructure in this area is inadequate. Therefore, investing your time and resources into developing a robust and efficient transportation network, spanning the mountains, will be crucial to ensure the smooth functioning of your city's various industries and trade routes. May the gods favor your endeavors, Governor. Okay. So, that's it for the instructions. Now, I don't know if that is supposed to be I saw a sea trade. Well, it's an empire campaign, that's what it always is on Hugin's maps. This is just to show you the previous missions. Which are these distant cities. These are all missions where we were before. And this is only to show it. If you want to show if you want to see a line you can open it. But um it's bad because it's gonna constantly bitch at you for not having a dog. But something like this will eventually be made into Augustus um, as, a, as a feature. Uh, what, what I want to say? Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise it would constantly bitch at me. Um, thanks. This either is a bug or it's intended. I have enabled local materials, but we don't have any local materials yet. So either it's because of triggers, we'll unlock raw resources. Your mic sounds a bit quieter or different than usual. Yeah, it is. Thanks. The cats have pushed it a little bit aside, I think. Is this better? <coughs> Should be better. So, arrow materials, we don't have any. Um, it's gonna unlock. Okay. Farms, vegetables, fruits, and vines. Alright. Uh, we do have vines local, and this is a vines farm. I don't know why we have this. Is this an objective or? Let's take a look. Then conditions. Population for. Yeah, uh, this is the goals, rules, no rules. Hence, be mindful not to overspend with your limited capital. Okay. Well, um, we'll have to reload the map because there is the. Hey, double danger, double danger that will come. There is uh, the message. Yes. Uh, so let's take a look. So we are at 40 BC. This is the stuff we got from, from the AI. Um, yeah, these these are. Is this supposed to be like this? Hello, Fairpie. I think this is supposed to just divide, right? Of course, the cats are already banging at the freaking window. supposed to okay <laughs> I'm so confused it's fine <clears throat> okay so entry point right here exit point right here land trade for everything uh, <clears throat> shit on the farmland if you want to utilize this we need mission post we need to start selling food I think let's take a look so uh, first day that courses buys fruits and vine <clears throat> which we can make It's 35. Vine, 150, yeah. Uh, do we have workshops? Yes. Okay. So, block block time first. 
Where do we put our first block? I think here. This is a fish. This pond. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's cosmetic fish or seagulls. Is there a military? I don't know. No. Uh, there's a palisade and a wall. This is probably unintentional though. I don't think there is a military in this one. <clears throat> yeah, I think first block here. This is fairly open. I don't see a reason not to go with something. Well, I'll, I'll go with 22 by 6, but I'm not gonna fill it because um, we don't have that much money, so it's gonna be all about juggling that limited budget at the start. Okay. So I can go with like L shaped block, I suppose. Is this leading anywhere? No. <clears throat> That was not not good. What am I doing? Okay, let's grab that. Yeah, it's not gonna be full 22 by 6, I don't think. And I don't want to fill it completely, so we need to stop. But the road is crucial. So it's 2, 1, 2. Like this. Like this. Yeah, sure. Let's <clears throat> get another house, but again, we need to be careful about spending. And food, eventually, we'll get food here. I suppose, yeah. So let's put. We'll get a granary on this side, eventually. Prefect. Doctor, barber. Temples. I could spam them somewhere, but I think it's fine to put the first set in the block. Usually you don't need to use all of it anyway, and we cannot fill it completely because money. So to start smaller. <coughs> oh yeah, personal salary. What is it? Two denari, so we need to go to zero. Send him a small gift. We'll have to micro gifts. If you want any favor. Later. For now I'm not gonna pay myself any salary and we'll see how it goes. So if you want to open up courses it's 400, it buys the vine and fruits. So I'll need to set that up. But this is actually like the only closest point where I can make food. We don't have wheat, so... Mm. It's gonna be awkward. So, exit point right here. If there is fertile land around this area, we should probably be using this instead. And there is just it is full of natives, but they are not guarding absolutely everything. So I think we can, we can cheese it. Plus there is this, there is this farm. So they buy one vine quota. I don't know how much it is because you don't know until until that's done. <clears throat> Until it's open, that is, because uh, it's a custom empire. It says one shield, but it could be like one per year. Yeah. Um, this thing. Yeah, there's actually lots of them buy wine, so if we make a little more, it doesn't hurt. Definitely, I feel like selling the fruit is just not gonna be good for you. Even though the instructions say that, I, I don't think I don't think the instructions know how bad that is, and I don't want this. Um, it's not an additional objective, so I can just I can just destroy it. That would be very good for us. So we can put a workshop here. I'll probably struggle to put in a warehouse looking at this. So that's two workshops. Destroy this gate. Uh, we don't need this. Put that there. 
another workshop through it as well. Hmm. We might eventually want a highway. Warehouse, warehouse, warehouse. I think we'll put in a warehouse here. I need a workshop for buying another one, but I don't know where to put it. Um, <clears throat> there's not that much space. There is a world where I do it here, maybe. Somehow. I don't know. I can have it here, but it's awful. Okay, fine, we're... let's just have it. And then this will connect up to this. And it's... yeah. Not good. Let's get it its own services. Let's get a roadblock. Accept vine. 16 is enough. <clears throat> Greatest improvements over vanilla season 3 ever. You mean the forests merging on the cliffs? <laughs> Oh, for sure. <laughs> it's just... But to be fair, he wanted my labor, so you know, why not? It's not communism, but it's... When is the Romans doing it? Okay, so you still like labor. But, <clears throat> but we had to. Yeah, we, we got a little bit of a bailout. Let's see. I might have to give them a bathhouse. I'm very worried people will start exploding rather soon. This is not great. I'll have to relocate this. It's expensive, but yeah, let's have it like this. Bathhouse. And people will explode if we don't give them that. There we go. We could shorten this a little bit. I'm not too worried about that. I think once we make some vine, we'll be fine. <clears throat> Everything belongs to the Senate. Yeah, clearly. So, are we actually making anything? <laughs> I mean, yeah, now it's growing, right? Not enough employees. I have to go into that. This is awful. This is the first map where the win conditions almost reach campaign level. Yeah, but no culture. Which is good. Make some vine, come on. They're making it. It's gonna take a little while. Which means spending a year in debt, but with such lim limited initial funding, it's not much you can do, really. I didn't go ham on that, at least, but you'll have to still open a trade route. Lots of these places are probably gonna be cosmetic in nature. Yeah, as they usually are. When you can maps, you cannot you cannot get here and build things. So yeah, some of these might even be completely locked off for you. Like this whole downstairs area. Yeah, I suspect like large swaths of this map are just gonna be completely unusable <laughs> so we end up with uh, <clears throat> not having that much okay let's open the open the trader to courses sell vine uh, fruits I don't want to sell fruits nor can I really make fruit anywhere very reasonable I could make it here but that's for feeding people so 
Let's wait until we make some money. Cannot really do anything else. So, uh, how much do they buy? There you are. 10. Okay, that's a, that's a lot, actually. Yeah. Made a little bit of money, so... Uh, let's fill this block in. And we'll start making some food. Over here. Again, no wheat, so... In combination with this, where... You know, like 60% of the map is just there because of reasons and not because you can actually build on it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how much can I make, where can I make it. This is full of natives. I don't know when that's gonna unlock. There is some fertile land like here, which there might be a staircase somewhere. I don't know. I don't see it. I don't think there is a staircase. So this is just cosmetic, even this farm, <laughs> actually, I think. Right? Right? Yeah. No, you cannot, you cannot get anywhere. Fine. Mm, where is the route? Here. Okay. You need to kind of be careful about that. Oh yeah, and the granary. I can maybe put that there. It's kind of important. No, of course not. Uh, it could be like there, but that's even worse. It would be better to just replace this farm with a granary. Depot, no, we can have like one here. We can have them near the destination as well, but uh, it's not great. We can have one here. I'll see. I need some more money first. Yeah, they bought all the wine this year. That's fine. You can even open another route next year if you need to. March. It takes them such a long time to traverse the map as well. Uh, okay, fine. Buy my wine. It's half the year is gone before they even realize. Oh yes, quota is refreshed. We should be buying shit. Yes. Uh, amazing. Let's sell them fruits as well. From this granary. And wait forever because of that. Okay. No, 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 no. Stop that. They are coming back. Yeah, no. It's December, but still, like, it's not worth doing. It's not worth doing. Fine, wait forever. Okay, money. Great. Get a granada here. Depot. Bring fruit and we will have to wait until that one activates. It does not display it unless it has labor. Bring it from uh, two, yeah, two to three. Faster trade as well. They always do whatever is worse for you. <laughs> it's not even a question. But you could prevent it by having a granary somewhere here. But that's insane. I'm not gonna do that. Especially with tight budget, I cannot justify anything. Basically, it's just gonna all have to be like this. Once the fruit, I have it. I can send it. Favor is 15. I'm gonna die to the dead. 
Oh, yeah, I don't feel like I overextended though. I'm not sure if that can be put on me early. Let's see, it's December. He's gonna, he's gonna be mad. It's January. Yeah, it's 14 favor. We just cannot go into debt anymore. We have to wait. You have to wait a long time now. To make some money. The worst thing is I cannot even make enough of this. <laughs> it's constant debt. Constant debt. Okay. If that's what you want, fine. It's August. We are dead. We are dead to this. This dead. They bought three wine this year. Marvelous. And I'm not even interfering with their pattern. <laughs> it's just it's so good. It takes them a year to get through the map. So, you know. The efficiency just goes straight down the toilet. Um, let's put in another workshop. We can't have it because they are often idling with some vines. But we are not making any money, basically. It's just, you know, well, we can check economic tab. Um, yeah, so expense is 950 and income is 1200. So it's like 250 denarii per year. That's not good. It's very not good. <clears throat> yeah, we can have it. We need to accumulate some favor if we are to... Uh, if we are to survive. 13 is not a lot, really, but yeah. Dead. I didn't build anything this year. <laughs> oh well. This is what you want. I'll have to start selling them the freaking fruit. I just don't know where to make it because this is natives. So you cannot build on it. And then I do not want to build on this for my trade. It's insane and you cannot split it. If you do, they will go from, oh, I bought two pieces of vine. I better go all the way back. That takes me a year to buy six fruit and then come back, you know. Um, so no. You do not want this to happen. 700 denarii. Uh, probably getting them to taxes would be best, but then again, I cannot even get them jobs if I do that. Further in the native's land is some space. Is there? Yeah. Can kind of make it here, I suppose, but it's off. <laughs> it's also gonna cost me more money because it's further away. But it's doable, I think. Thousand. I should just make vine. The fruit is not a solution. Uh, we should make vine and open more trade routes. 700 for this one. And hope that that make it, makes up for it. Uh, first, I might, I might just need to water people. Which is not great, because they will demand jobs from me. Great, good. Prioritize which order they buy goods in. Yeah, but that's not what you can do. So we are just at the mercy of, you know, them doing shit like this. Where buy one vine and then oh, I should buy some fruit. But better go this journey that takes me freaking year to do that. Because that's completely reasonable and sane and you know. Stuff that governor would want me to do, of course. So you wouldn't want that fruit not to be not to be exported. Not to mention that you know, uh, while exporting that, you actually lose out thousands of dinar of money, but because you don't have the caravans to export the actually important shit like your fucking vine. But yeah, reasons. Uh, let's put this here. And this is kind of stretching it, I think. Well, the game says it's fine. 
So it's just the game. I think it's probably not fine. We'll see. Okay. School and a library. Library, no, uh, theater. And immediately start taxing them. Eight percent. Pay them a little more. Now, problem is going to be desirability most likely. Do we have plaza? We do. Mm, okay. Let's build a lot of room. Which one? So that. Should start getting at least a, some tax money, which is going to be important. These need to get fixed. It's barely enough to feed this block. So are we getting any tax money for now? 300, yeah. At least it's something. Uh, if you see a surplus of buying, I need to open up the new trader. Hello Mario, welcome. So did we get any events? For like, objectives or anything? Unlocks? No. Okay. Okay. It's February, just let them come here. In a year's time, these are not gonna buy it because that's the an another thing. D it takes them a year to go through this, and then if they are on the map already, like here, they'll not buy it because they came onto the map without knowing that the quota has refreshed, and so they will leave it. Like it's March and they are leaving without buying anything, you know. Are there any recent city builders um, that, that come close to C3, in my opinion, because I really struggle to find one that provides similar experience to late 90s, early 2000s building games. Mm. Fable, I don't know that game, but the problem is modern games usually don't go with a 2D isometric view, they go with 3D, and 3D sucks for city builders. It's just not very good perspective for it. It means that everything will look kind of weird, and, you know, there are a myriad of games that have city building elements, but none of them it really feel well, like... Like a city builder, they usually make it sort of a survival, uh, small-scale village kind of thing, you know? They don't make it a proper city builder. Um, which, if you are into games like that, you can find shit tons of games like that, but not proper city builders. I think if you if you want something like this, you need to go... I mean, Nabakundazar is kinda close, but it's... I would still rather play Caesar, you know? Yeah. Nabakundazar is kinda okay, but still, I would rather play Caesar than that. And that's the game that comes closest to this, but it's all about the perspective, really. Uh, because again, 3D games just... it, it doesn't work as well. For city builders, and unfortunately, lots of studios just try that over and over and over again, even though it's not working. So that's great. Uh, let's open up a trade route to Venda and sell them wine. <coughs> kind of disheartening. <laughs> um, I mean, it probably will be fine eventually market will figure it out it's just taking a while because also it's a dead genre you know people just don't care about that sort of thing they care about overwatch and battle royale they care about games like that this we are in a minority market is not gonna develop a game that's gonna be um liked by like one percent of the market oh i said fortnite yeah i think i said fortnite <laughs> or no i said overwatch sorry but yeah, in my in my head, these things are kind of synonymous. It's I know it's a different game, but you know. Okay, so we've got a thousand denarii. Uh, what do we do next? People are leaving the city. 
which is not good. We need them to not do that. So we need to import clay, but again, we need to do it somewhere like here. And the reason for it is otherwise the traders will ping pong. So let's accept it clay in here. And I'll have to make a manufacturing area here for some pottery. But we cannot accept the clay here. So again, that would ruin everything. Because the traders will come back. Let's make some workshops for pottery. Let's get two of these going right here. And I'll want a card depot. Put this here. And a prefect. Um, right here. And this is not gonna accept traders, it's gonna accept eight clay and accept eight pottery and we'll be doing this depot which is gonna bring clay from one to four this should give us extra jobs as well i love it what do you love fortnite well you you are allowed allowed to like whatever you want it's just you know if you like Caesar, there is a very high chance you are not gonna like Fortnite <laughs> or Overwatch or anything like that. Now we're actually making money. Okay, let's. How much do you pay for clay? Thirty. Let's import this. <clears throat> let's see if we can make it work. I need to give them extra entertainment. I think. <laughs> at this and we need actress con and gladiator school uh, which is again a little bit unfortunate that's not what i want to make but we have to so let's make it and i'm worried about the fruit situation it doesn't look like we can make enough really yeah i mean i can make like one extra farm two extra farms this is not very good gonna feed extra 300 people I mean it helps but it doesn't solve it okay let's just double down on this he wants clay sure send it in clay even though I just bought it puzzle map sort of me I you know me I don't like I don't like this <laughs> it's beautiful you know it looks nice Ignore the fact you cannot build on 85% of this, um, but gameplay-wise, you know, it's the event system. I would like to see some goals, but it's fine. We don't have to have that, but why not if we, if we can, you know? <laughs> For workers, but what? They... They do have, they do have this. Everyone has fountain. It's the wells are pre-placed from the map. It's not on me. Okay, are you bringing the clay? They should, right? It's just taking ages, probably. Yeah. Okay. Four thousand is doable, but I didn't want to go up to four five uh, five hundred, which is or a different thing um, yeah I mean I don't know the map is very large but a uh, lot of it is inaccessible so it's very hard to judge for someone who didn't make it you know like how many can I fit I don't know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> like I look at things and then figure out that you cannot get it so I can probably do this acceptance amongst the locals as your settlement grows and transforms into a small village, the thousand population trigger, most likely. The locals, there's uh, supposed to be a gap here, but not a big deal, uh, became accustomed to your presence and the benefits you brought to their community. As these people recognize the importance of cultural exchange, you are now allowed to introduce missionary posts to the native settlements. The construction of missionary posts marks significant milestone development of your village as they serve as centers of uh, outreach in order to grow your own food supply. You will have to expand your farms with the help of the natives. I can now build missionary posts. Okay, so that means we can access this, but we'll have to sacrifice a bunch of that for food production. It's not what I want to do, but 
but uh, sure. And it's February. Um, we could open another trade route if it buys wine. It does. Let's do it. It's not very, not very smart because we are gonna go into debt, but it's gonna help. And they'll get, uh, they'll get their pottery soon, right? Yeah, thing made. We'll need to spend money on uh, desirability things, which is definitely not what I want to do. But we have to have something, so let's have this. It's all the weird shit. <laughs> Just build it. Okay, small insula. Um, should be good. We need to get more temples. And I do not know where. We could make it like in this, in this little area, but, um, problem is I'm probably gonna use this for manufacturing. So instead, we should probably have it here. Workshop. Now with the insulate taxes, we should be looking better, right? 980 annual taxes. Not horrible. Let's do unemployment. It's it's there. <laughs> um, I think we are still making enough wine to sell to everyone. Is that right? Yeah, they don't actually buy all that much of it in total, so it definitely is enough. We need to wait, I have 300 denarii, not much for anything really. Uh, we need to worry about food supplies. What's the prosperity? Yeah, eat it. I, I'm thinking about importing some food and that's not good when you think like that. I don't even know what to do it and I would have to like get a granary here and then put fish into it and then cart it over. But it's gonna cost me a lot of money. But I think going for Grand Insula probably is your best option. Like I cannot imagine building patricians is gonna be viable here. Low price on vine. Hey everyone, welcome. What's my favorite Czech dish? Fried cheese. Um, apart from that, just a usual, um, you know, Knaddle with sauces. It's also good. Like um, Svichkova or goulash as well. But goulash is like Hungarian. But there is there are variants of goulash that are Czech. Um, what else? A lot of good dishes, but fried cheese is my, my favorite. Hey Cloud, welcome. Met fish really cheap, did you? So you like fish. Okay, that makes sense. Let's take a look. Yes, uh, you are correct. That is very cheap. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's that's gonna be what we do. We we do Grand Insula, I think. But they will want oil, which we can import olives from Villa Solisa. Uh, yeah, it's not cheap, but we can accept eight olives here. Did I fuck up my warehouse? Why? I, oh yeah, it's fine. It just didn't show up because of the resources in there. Um, okay. Let's get a new car depot. I will do another warehouse. Workshop for oil. Start, not weapons. Oil. Start with two of these. And... This is gonna accept olives. Where is olives? Uh, where are olives? Here. Eight plus uh, oil. We can just cart it over here. 
accept eight oil here. And this we need to actually bring it. So let's do olives from warehouse one to warehouse five. And I need to import it, but it's expensive and it's October. So, I mean, it's not smart to do it now, but I kind of need to. So let's do it. Yeah, just import all of it. It's fine. Hey, flying down, so welcome. Everything seems fine, but Caesar is one inch away from invade. Oh yes, and my debt is kind of high now because um, you know we just don't have the capability to sell many things at all. The usual taxes are not looking that good either. Oh, we'll have to wait now. This is super annoying. Yeah, we are dead. We are dead. We did get two denarii, initial seller. Now I have protection. What? Lion? I mean, I do have a lion, but. He's not gonna help me, it is, it's, he's just impeding my ability to play the game. So, you know, he wants cuddles, but that's not very conducive to what I need to do here. And what I need to do is just restart anyway, because Caesar is gonna kill me. <laughs> Your dad is kinda high. I don't know. But what I know is, we will get absolutely trashed now. There is nothing we can do about that. We can send him this vine, but that's not gonna change matters. I don't think. It's we are still in debt and it's December, you know. Let's check out check out the economy tab. Check out the glorious economy tab, shall we? 2800 yearly, we are paying 1800 for imports, 1400 for wages, 400 for levies. Yeah, it's not good. So, where did I make a mistake? Let's take a look what we can sell. They would buy stone, but uh, can I really make that? I don't think I can. No, they, this is what they sell, right? This They would buy pottery, but I, that doesn't seem too great to me. Selling that, but we might have to. They do sell a lot of clay, so we can make it. It's just, again, space. Like, where do I make that? Because I need to like concentrate my trade in one area. If I have a granary here and a warehouse here, they are not, they're not gonna work. You need to have it in one area for that to function and there's just no space like i cannot fit an industry for pottery anywhere this is like i can't possibly have like couple here but i don't think that's great <laughs> it's just sorry but the, the map is just why <laughs> just why why don't you just allow me to build something this is why well Whatever, we are dead, and I don't feel like I'm applying it, but I will because I'm forced to, but it's... <laughs> Why? Why? Why is it like this? I don't understand it. Yeah, it is time for cuddles, but... You know, it doesn't matter what you want, the cat always decides. Uh... <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's a red shirt. It's my favorite. Uh, shirt color. Unfortunately, red shirts are uh, difficult to keep because they usually lose color rather quickly. I mean, I know I'm not forced to, but I'm forced to by my own stubbornness. I know that I can properly do it. But uh, we made our way out of that. The favorite is at 11. I think we die. No matter what I do, really. Mm, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. No, I'm stubborn. I will. I will. I will beat it. It's just again uh, some of the things I just don't have options. I feel like there is one way to do things, and I don't like maps like that because it's a it, it, it's a game about decisions. If I only have one decision, 
then I feel like it's just not fun. Sorry, but it's not fun to do this. It's not fun. To me at least, I don't know, maybe some people like that. For me, it's just, you know, I want to be the one making the decisions. If the game decides, you do this or you die, and there's only one way to build this, then... Sorry, but that's that's not that's not what city building is about. <laughs> I mean, on some maps it's good, but only in limited way, not everything, like, you know... Uh, you cannot make money here. You can kind of make the pottery, but where? The space is the key issue, and if you think that you can split one warehouse here, one granite, no. You will die if you do that. You saw what the traders do, you made it so that it takes them a year to get through the map. But that, I cannot have it in multiple places because they will just, you know, not do their job. Which is kind of crucial. So let's just watch the world burn. They're going this way for some reason. I saw them are in the block already. The cat is not helping me. But I've thrown him off two times and that's not what he wants. So he's gonna stay here. Okay. Good fire. I am most displeased. Despite all the funds I invested in your city and the Senate's generosity with credit, you have let me down. Your city has not repaid the funds it borrowed. My faith in you was misplaced, and I am forced to find another governor to take your place. Perhaps you will fare better in the new role I have in mind for you. All the funds, yes. All the 2,800 plus uh, around uh, 700 rescue funds. <laughs> no, it's not a good attempt, Carrier. It's, you know... Um, Again, it's a different style of maps where you have all this, but you can actually build on like 10% of it or 15, 20%, I don't know exactly the uh, ratio, but it's something like that. Um, and then, you know, the trade route is just made by... I, I, sorry, but I doubt you've tested this. <laughs> sorry, but, you know, it doesn't feel like you tested it to me. And... Um, yeah, it's not good. Turns out it's shit if you do this. <laughs> Who could have known, right? Well, yeah, guess what? Now I have to start over. So much fun. Let's do that. Let's do that because we don't have choices in life. I need to get to go away. This is not good. Oh, I'm gonna have to give him something to bribe him. Otherwise, he's gonna come back immediately. just you know cat treats we I I don't give them catnip but Kate does I don't give them drugs but <laughs> yeah. Kate does okay how did I build this uh, I don't remember. We'll have to do it ad hoc like last time. 
I can even make it a little bit different. Uh, if we bring the water like last time, we can actually build all the way up to here. Which would be useful, I think. And then I'm just gonna connect line blocks to this and just make it larger. The problem is gonna be you need everything at Grand Insulae if you want 80 prosperity. So that will be annoying. Also, I've just spent more money than I should have. But uh, that's fine. Now, is this going to work? I'll have to probably shift this a little bit. Like that. And go this way. Mm. Up here, actually, it needs to go like this. This is so awkward. <laughs> Like this. Okay, and we'll put a reservoir somewhere here. This is necessary. Like, some things I just cannot even, like, make any different. So, I think that is still necessary. Like, without that, you cannot develop the fucking city. So, you know, the starting money that's very, very tight is just another thing that it needs to be overcome and it's just so fun to have to do it all over again. Um, that I'm just not gonna talk about it anymore because if I do, I'm just gonna quit. So let's just go ahead and do this. Workshops, vine. We'll do a warehouse somewhere over here. Accept vine. 16 units. That's gonna be our initial thing. I need to make the second farm. But can I justify it immediately? I think not. I don't know, maybe we have to, because the, you need to have more than necessary, and I think two farms is enough to satisfy the first one. It's They want ten, so one will not do it, I don't think. Let's do it here. And now we need to fit the workshops, which is just the worst. Uh, put this here. We actually don't need this little road. And vine here, and vine here. Plus roadblock this off, which is gonna cost me a lot of money. But yeah, I think this, this is how it needs to be, most likely. Let's just wait until people arrive. I should probably put in more plots for this. Can you imagine how crazy your cats become with catnip? Yes, they are very crazy even without catnip, so... Giving them catnip is not something I do or recommend. They don't need it, they are already insane. Yeah, I'll have to spend money, get labor in here. Uh, we should probably give them a bathhouse or people will explode, because I'm not gonna water them early. This should hopefully be enough. Yeah, I need that. Let's wait. It's enough.
can't open okay now we have it's december it's fine we are still in debt so it doesn't really matter export this did i set my wages to zero no let's do that and let's send him a medium gift now we need to wait forever to make any money so that we can build basically anything if we build anything and we go in debt we lose so much favor it's not going to be recoverable Labians are angry. Yes, I'll, I'll give you more work, but not yet. I have to. I'll have to start doing doing this uh, through it, which is unfortunate. Last one is a problem. And then I could have one here, but that means I cannot have this one, so let's just do this. This is probably way more than I need or can support, really. Might be a mistake. Let's just go ham. Let's get these services, accept fruits. I know. Now we need actual workers again. I'll have to fill this in. <clears throat> They've bought all the wine this year, I think. It's a thousand and that. I haven't been really building that much, but you know, all it takes is a little bit when the trade is just as shit as on this map. You don't really need much economic pressure, it's just, you know, plebeians need work and so you build something which immediately results in copies that don't really need to make any large mistakes. Just order small ones. 200, 300 in that. Let's just wait forever. I cannot do anything else. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. It's nothing I can do. If we lose this time, I'm just gonna go and do something else with my life. Because this is not fun. Sorry, but I don't like this. I don't like that I don't have choices in anything. Okay, do we, do we feed people now or do we wait forever? Oh, 16 favor, great. Uh, let's just wait like, I don't know, 60 years just to make money and then actually build a city. Or actually, if, if we can, because, you know, building a city is a stretch on a map like this. But, um, yeah, just so you make money and then you can actually do something. Because, otherwise, you know, you build an industry, you immediately die. You see, the money is constantly going down, even without me being building anything. Because you've done it so that you get 200 fucking denarii per year in profit. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot. It's just, you know, wait decades. Let's wait decades because it's fun and that's what everyone wants. Let's get a granary. Market. We'll need a car depot. I have to do it here, most likely. Because I don't think we can fit it. This is enclosed anyway. We could replace this farm here, possibly. And do it like this. And then put a depot here. And this one will do fruits. From. This is two. Two to one. No, that's three. I don't know why it's saying that. You must have pre-built a granary at some point. Because the... This is just having it all wrong. Why is this... Oh yeah, this needs to accept fruits. Three, yeah. 
Because I don't have another granary, but apparently there was one at some point on the map before I got control. Let's see this. Let's get a theater. Grills made a nice change lately, so when you're assaulting Granary's warehouses with depots, their numbers show on the map. Do they? Uh, is that not in, in the game yet? Or I don't understand. But anything to make it a little more clear would be good. Let's get a forum. Mm. This is awful. It's not much money, but it's some money, so let's do that. Plus, we all have significant uh, surplus of labor, which I cannot deal with. Let's have this, let's see. It's, it's, apparently it apparently is fine. I don't trust it, but game says it's fine, so let's trust it. Um, <clears throat> let's get eight clay in here and eight pottery. Pottery workshop. Yeah, who could have known starting with such low money and then having the initial trade be so shit? Who could have known it turns out into a horrible slog where you wait ages to do anything? Okay, money. Money is horrible. Let's wait. Let's wait. Next year we'll start importing clay. Hopefully. It's December. January, full of denari. They will not buy stuff because, again, they have entered the map. And since it takes them years, they, they need to enter it with a new year to realize the quota is there. Let's do the clay. Import it. Because you don't have the lot. No, 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 I don't actually have the Hikens version because he made the map with this one in mind. So I forgot. I don't have the latest one. You can wanted me to use this because he made a map with this version in mind, and there was there was a bug, so that's why we have this one. Okay, um, selling pottery. We can do that to Venda, I think. Yeah, let's open it. Export pottery. They'll be buying wine. Yeah. Why do I have timber here? It must have been a visual bug of some kind. Do you see that? That's how it looks on the last build. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. At least it helps a little bit. Send him the clay. Yeah, the timber. I don't know why timber is here. Can I tell uh, from city stocks? Like, what the fuck is that? That's. It. I'm not using the last. So, so this is probably. Yeah, I can make a save if you want, but this is not the latest version. I'm gonna send it. Okay, yeah, no problem.
There we go. We are in debt. We need to wait. It's November. Okay, we made some money. Just enough to barely break even. There's a lot of client workshops investment. I just need to wait. Just need to wait. And people are leaving the city. Great. Um, <clears throat> I'll have to invest into an amphitheater, I think. Actress Colonel. Oh no, I fucked up. That's not good. Uh, it's gonna cost me money. Looks like I'm fine on my build, so I guess that's some bug that's got fixed in the meantime. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. It might not be related. And it's probably just displaying Clay's timber or something. Odd like that. It's very weird, but. As long as it's not in the, in the current version, it doesn't really matter. Let's put the actress colony here, actually. I need to have a warehouse over here. This warehouse is going to accept eight pottery. And we want a depot to bring it here. And to make sure we can get through that. 1400. Um, we should make more vine, probably. But population milestone means that we'll get the mission posts now, I think. Yes. So how do we want to play this? Let's get a road going. This is farm is gonna be like that. Plus this one so like this. And go down here and then curve up like this. I should probably use another workshop actually, just again no place to really put it. Yeah, does it want to go to pacified now? Now we need to connect to this, but also roadblock it. It cannot be allowed to reach places I don't want him to. get another vines farm and some workshops I have to do plaza I don't really want to but we need to Oh yeah, don't don't accept traders over here. And we should probably invest into another trade route. The same cat uh, does does back. No, it's the other one. The other one got bribed and it's fine. Maybe export some fruits. I um, I don't know. It's if it helps significantly. It's you need to realize that it's a problem to export even the processed goods. Like they cannot handle it. The caravans just. The, because of how you made this trade route, it's very difficult for them to do that. Yeah, no. Plus, granary. I've, where do I put this? I don't know. Uh, we can pr 
probably make it somewhere here. But the deal is they will ping pong and already it's fucked up. Like they cannot, they cannot do their job. If I make them go from one place to another, ping pong back, it's gonna get even worse. And I'm not gonna sell my wine, which is gonna mean I die. So, you know, just for risking it to sell something worth 35 denarii is not worth it. If it fucks up with the system that already is kinda held held up by freaking I don't know, duct tape. If I add anything to the system, let them ping pong a little bit, it dies. The city dies, so... I don't think that's a good idea. Like, yeah, it's money, but quota is fucked up. I cannot fill it and the trade route, you know. <laughs> People at work are annoying again. <laughs> no chits. <laughs> that's uh, unfortunate to hear. God. Um, okay, let's let's do let's do some plaza, shall we? Maybe not yet. I'll need freaking furniture. Which is very expensive, I think. Can you import timber? Not from here, not from here. Oh yes, you can, 15 units. Not that much, but it will help. But again, I need to somehow make it here. I don't know how I'm going, I'm going to do that. This doesn't allow to fit anything, really. I'm, I'm gonna have to put like warehouse somewhere here. Not that I want to. But, um, yeah. So some, some timber. And, uh, we can process it in the, in the housing block, I suppose. So I cannot start importing it yet, I don't think. <clears throat> Since the trade is so slow, could you ferry over some food to the vine warehouse? Possibly, but you kind of want to have 16 here. Mm, I don't think that would work too well. This warehouse, you know, I'm, I still didn't fill this, which only buys a little bit, but we need to open this up eventually, probably after we get some money right here. And then you kind of want 16, because it's your major export and Caesar is going to ask for 15 or whatever as well. There is just no space to put your infrastructure in. I'm sorry, is this fun? I disagree, I don't like this. Cut this. Should have cut it the uh, passage a little bit sooner, but it's just a little bit of time. It's not even a month. Yeah. Deal with it. Awful. Okay, let's have it like this. It's time to wait. Parallel Mars. See, is upset. Everyone is upset. It's fine. It's gonna get sold eventually. Yeah, he wants divine. Send him divine. And it's January, okay. Making money at least. Now we need the furniture, I think. So we need to import a little bit of timber. Import it. I I don't know if I should process it here or here. We could do it in this place. It's just my fertile land as well. I don't I don't want to use it for that. But if we have to, let's let's get some timber over here. Let's get timber going from four or five to five to four. All right, and workshops for some furniture. Hey, Pyro, welcome. <coughs> Flying Dancer says, Marek, I'm gonna need you to go down to the old town square and save someone." Current streamer Jinte is in Prague these days, and her chat is trying to talk the her into visiting the six machine to see what. I I don't think we have anything like that here. That's uh, you know, mm, contrary to what you might believe, 
we we do not have such a museum in Prague. If if there is such a museum, it's not publicly known because it's probably a private collection. That's the only thing I can tell you, because it's not official. Okay. So timber, are we importing it? Yes. And then we accept it here. We need oil as well. Not yet. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Well, then fate and humanity is lost once again. What can I tell you? That's not good. Need to do second food type eventually, I don't know how. I'll have to farm vegetables. Bring it here. Let's do 16. Fruits. I've now ignored your advice and I'm going ahead with Ever Xos uh, dream run of workers and resources. <laughs> I've seen you post uh, your your first run. Um, I hope I hope you are having fun with it and you know prepare a decade of your life <laughs> because there's Albania, so there are no winters. Okay. Vine is short, is it? Um, I didn't know that. I I thought Albania is from the African Balkans. I think they're supposed to be winter. But yes, uh, like mud roads. What happens in workers and resources when you get winter is just everything turns into a snail space, which is not good. Especially with the realism settings, which already do so many things to you. So I can understand why, but. Yeah, it prepared like decade of your life. <laughs> that game is, that the game is a little bit special. Um, okay, let's get let's get a granary here. Come on, accept vegetables. Let's put this here. Give them an engineer and a prefect. I will put this off. Hopefully this will be enough. Uh, let's get a depot. Six to three, is that correct? Yes. So we should see some furniture being made. Now we need oil, which is gonna be very expensive. It's just north of Greece, yeah. Like on the, actually, like closer to Italy, I guess. Like on the Adriatic Sea, right? Like Croatia, it's adjacent to Croatia. It's one of the states of former Yugoslavia, isn't it? Nothing worthy of being called winter in my opinion, okay. Well, um, they certainly will have like hot summers, but I think mm, Albania is like mountainous, isn't it? So I would imagine they do have some snowfall, but I don't know. I spent 69 hours on Mario, so I'm fine with long playthroughs, okay. Yeah, I mean that game. I specifically think that you you uh, you will like it a lot, which you do. It fits it fits your your format. It's not not really like you you know unless you m mismanage things heavily, you cannot die. But also it's your specific period which you are knowledgeable in, so probably a lot of things to say about that. They were notably not part of Yugoslavia. Okay. Sorry, I just pissed off a bunch of people. <laughs> but, yeah. I know that it's in that general area. That's why I mentioned it. 
that Balkans is very uh, difficult topic to cover. <laughs> A lot of emotions running there, different peoples. Um, yeah, let's just sidestep that and talk about something else. Um, need some olives. And unfortunately, I'll have to make another warehouse. I really don't want to. Um, but okay. Let's get olives. Eight. They just not come there. They just not come here. Let's do a depot. Depot goes here. Workshop for oil. And oil gets accepted here. Plus prefect and engineer from this side. Mm. Why is it light? No. <laughs> I've done a mistake again. Okay, let's put this here. It's fine. <clears throat> yeah, slumming down Lenin statues all over the place. <laughs> what fun is it? I mean, yeah, it, especially the music, as I said, like, you know, um, if you listen to the bass soundtrack of the game for long enough, you will be driven permanently and irreversibly insane. Uh, or communist, which, you know, is synonymous, but I wouldn't recommend that. Like, yeah, it's it's kind of fun to listen to it for a little bit and just, you know, it's, it's a little bit cringe, but then you should really switch it. Can I apologize again? For what? What, what have you done, Clark Dancer? Confess. Confess and you will be spared. Part of the run will include a communist seaside resort. <laughs> okay. That's good. Uh, also, Albania, so bunkers. Like, they had like something like two bunkers per inhabitant of the country, didn't they? Because Hoksha got a little bit paranoid. <laughs> didn't he? I don't actually know. This is just something I remember, but it might be completely wrong. So you might might have to correct me on this. But I do believe that it'd be like that. <laughs> In good old Albania. I have to see if workshop has bunkers. Yeah, yeah. It workshops. Uh, it has a lot of stuff. So I, I suspect if you search for something like military buildings or bases, you should be able to get something like that. Not me. The Danish youth on holiday in Prague. They've notably gotten drunk and trashed something. Well, that always happens. Uh, they always uh, set the freaking hotel on fire. It's your Viking blood. You, you don't. You know. Don't apologize. It's only natural. <laughs> <laughs> just no really like you've even sent your country even sent officers here to help with dealing with these situations so it's fine you are not contrary to what you might believe you are not responsible for the actions of every one of your countrymen abroad otherwise you you would absolutely die because <laughs> you know people do horrific shit and it's not just people from any country specifically it's just all sorts of people do all sorts of things, so don't feel bad for it. <laughs> he was definitely a bit paranoid. <laughs> okay, he denounced the Soviet Union for not being communist enough. Okay, it sounds almost like China struggles with uh, Soviet Union when there was the shift, when uh, you know, there was destalinization. Uh, de uh, Chinese actually went with. Uh, even like doubling down on that and it caused a shift, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, what was the year though? Because China eventually did shift um, to, you know, communism with Chinese characteristics, uh, which means just using both, <laughs> both worlds, basically. Hey, we're off, welcome. Did I miss the entire thing? No, we are still building the city. It's just taking ages. Um, but 
I'll be playing the Dune map later, so there's still that coming along. It's just that this will take some time. Again, I I'm not a Again, it's a Hukin map, it's very beautiful, but gameplay-wise, you don't have choices, so I don't like it. And the economy is rather uh, tight. <clears throat> Eventually, the North China, yeah. So, Albania was sort of North Korea. Okay, North Korea of Europe. <laughs> I think he denounced China in late 70s. Okay, that's too early, I think. For them to have shifted from from their best selves, I guess if you can call call it that. <laughs> okay, so oil. We are giving them oil. We have a library, or maybe we don't have the oil yet. Yeah, I I don't think I have it. I need to import olives. Um, yes, let's do that. Red in the voice of Liberty Prime. Better dead than the red. Democracy is not negotiable. That is preferable alternative to communism. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wrote a paper on him once. He was pretty bonkers. <laughs> Stalin fanboy to the end. Okay. I probably should actually read up on that. I, I find this interesting even though I really, I really don't like communism. Um, it's just, you know, parts of history like that. This, especially with communist leaders. It's interesting what kind of people got in charge of countries and very important industries and things like that because of how communism works and what these people were and what they were like it's just completely bonkers and not just Hoxha or Stalin like even other people like freaking Tito um, you know also very interesting character that goes even to Second World War when he was a partisan and British supported him uh, a lot with equipment and everything and just before the end of Second World War, uh, he just backstabbed the Allies and went over to the Communists and just said, "Oh yes, we we've, we've won the war thanks to the glorious Communism." And in no way, shape, or form have been helped by the Western dogs. Um, where you know, even today in Russia, you you've got um, Second World War celebrated as the biggest thing. Like you know, after after. Um, they forgot that Napoleon invaded Russia, <laughs> because th to that point, before the Second World War, or during Tsarist Russia, uh, the Great Patriotic War was the war against Napoleon. And then, after Second World War happened, they saw it as a manifest destiny in, you know, um, they have beaten the, the Nazi threat themselves, and no one else had a hand in that, and even to this day, in museums in, uh, in Russia, you can see you can see that they will happily tell you about their contributions, but very um, rarely will they even mention any many uh, other allied nations participating in the war itself. It's like if you believed um, the version of history, you would have the image of just the Russia doing everything, basically, which is not correct. Check your back on its feet economically fairly quickly compared to other post-communist countries. Um, yes and no. And the uh, problem is, it got absolutely, you know, privatization of industry caused massive unemployment because people were kicked out of jobs, but also um, there was a lot of uh, factories that just got plainly stolen or even, you know, Western countries going, oh, you are producing something that's better than us. Well, we cannot compete, so let's just buy you and make you go bankrupt. Because why? Like Tatra is one of the examples. Uh, now the factory is operational again, but when privatization happened, these sorts of co companies got hit the hardest. Which they were producing quite good equipment, like in terms of you know machinery, things like that, even weapon factories. Um, these things just got hit a lot. I mean, yeah, like it's, it was the westernmost Eastern Bloc country, so you can imagine that it was um, pretty well off compared to some of the contemporary countries in the Soviet bloc like, but still like you know it's not comparable to the West really because the overarching ideology especially caused cultural and so social decline in terms of you know unless you have freedom of speech and freedom of thought um, you're not gonna see 
very good society developing around this. What it resulted in over like 40 years was people just got uh, basically corrupt. Everyone was corrupt. Everyone was stealing stuff from their workplace. Everyone was only caring about themselves. No uh, virtues were really promoted apart from, you know, the obvious communist related ones. But um, until that point, humanity was often led by religion. I'm not a religious person myself, but you need to understand that it is that in a thousand people, you will have 700 of these thousand who cannot lead themselves and they need some overarching thing to lead them, either ideology or religion. If they don't have it, they go haywire, basically, and they will do dumb shit. And so, you know, um, it resulted in us being the most atheist country um, out of these. Poland is much more religious than us, for example. But currently, as it is, we can see that this dramatic moral shift without religion like we don't have ideology today therefore if you don't have religion or ideology a lot of people here go haywire they don't have priorities they don't have honor they don't have anything it's just you know it's very sad but you are the only one to lead yourself basically that's how it is today <coughs> Czechia and Poland have probably had the best post-communism transitions yeah Come in Poland, there was a saying, they pretend to pay us and we pretend to work, yes. That's sort of how that was as well. Even if you had money uh, in the coming times, you couldn't even buy things. You would be ha having to wait um, you, for car or for anything, even TV, anything like that, any goods. You would be on a list and it, would, it could take a decade for you to get a crappy East German car or even, you know, local car. Because lots of stuff was forcefully exported to Soviet Union as well. But, you know, they especially were very fond of our uranium, for example, which many, many nuclear weapons and reactors had fuel from here. And not to mention, how did they excavate uh, this uranium, you might ask? Was it by using advanced machinery and excavators and tools? No. It was by people who have been deemed as political enemies of the state and given very rudimentary and basic tools and no medical uh, oversight. So, you know, people like our veterans from Second World War, our pilots who fought in Britain against uh, the Germans in the air war, these people, of course, uh, political and, um, you know, to an extent, even um, social uh, elite. Like people with noble descent, things like that. I use that as a motto fairly often. <laughs> Stalin style, yeah. It is, it's brutal and it's disgusting what they did. But, you know, it's history, but uh, we should be aware of what this is. Because even to this day, like, there are some people who advocate for uh, this style of governance in the West. Like, you know, we didn't have it, so we need to try it as well. I mean, no, you just need to see at other people who've tried it and see, yes, this does not work. It is horrible. <laughs> and so we should not attempt this because it's going to result in an accountable suffering. Hookshapu, thank you, Sir Wild. <laughs> Why is this iron? No, 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 this is timber. It's just bugged. Yeah. It's, it's bugged with the visual bug. That's fine. We don't have money, we we'll need to wait. <clears throat> Did you have to, I guess, thanks to the unification with Western Germany? Mm. I don't know what that's related to. Watch the Winter Creek Winter War movie in the last days was quite interesting to see it from points of the view. Oh yes, Cloud. Uh, that's the Talvisota, the Winter War. I highly recommend that one. It's really interesting. And it's made like it's an old movie, but it's filmed with such a different approach. Not just with the you know, it's from Finnish perspective against the Soviets, uh, but also in character development and everything is a little bit different. And especially because Finnish were such different peoples from other people at the time. Like, the, you had very uh, tight social ties with family and the local community, where, you know, the Soviet style of leadership and society, it was practically the opposite, where uh, you had 
basically no-name people from uh, one of the far reaches of Soviet Union being, you know, conscripted into the army and thrown at the um, at the enemy. And so um, it actually like it's very very interesting to read about. And the movie itself is very well made. I think even though it's right, uh, it's quite a bit old at this point. Decreased rating of wine. That's not good. Uh, so is it gonna just completely bottom out? It might. Uh, I'll have to do this. Farm for fruits. But uh, I'd have to pacify my natives. I don't want to pacify the natives. Just no. Can I sell vegetables to people? Bought. Uh, yes. Okay. That's gonna delay me again because it's not great, but... It's fine. Let's not allow trade in here. <coughs> oh yeah, answered one of the parents' comments. I investigated further and something is bugged in with warehouses. Also the timber bug is still present, but it fixes itself when loading. Which is why I missed it. Okay, right. Yeah, I think it's just a graphics bug, basically. Uh, showing different resource than it's on the warehouse. It's just a little bit confusing, but this is not the Lathos, so, you know. I don't think the DDR has actually performed worse than Czechia and Poland. These Germans suffered when we united again, because good, all good stuff was brought out from the West and the rest got crumbled uh, to pieces. That's why uh, there is still a high difference in pay and living cost between the East and the West. Yeah, uh, even after all this time there still is a difference. I think I've heard the same from some relatives from Germany. Um, also, um, as a difference of, you know, how people think a lot. If you just take a general opinion of people who live in the West and East, you would see a difference as well, I think. That's what I've been told anyway. Uh, did I make the olive uh, depot? Why is this? Yes. Um, this needs to bring olives. I tend to forget as we talk about some various things. Let's bring it from 5 to 7, but this is bad. My money is gonna look pretty awful, I think. Well, we have a thousand, but 19 favor is not good. And since I got two fucking denarius wages, I'll have to micro my, micro my wages each 12 months to send a gift. This is the only way to get favor, because requests are just not happening. Ah. <sighs> Need to give them an arena. Let's do that. And a lion pet. East Germany isn't uh, as much priority for Germany as Poland is for Poland. <laughs> yeah, again, I guess there are still differences to be had. So we need to transition into taxes. Let's take a look at tax rate. 8%, yes. Uh, we cannot really charge more. Very pleased. We can try, but this is gonna probably cause issues. And get on insulate, it's gonna keep us at 80. Just need to evolve everyone. Can't really afford to have anything else for the prosperity goal. I really don't want to make patricians on this map. Beautiful get on They are. But, uh, yeah. The exports of wine to this just crumbled to 5. Which it already wasn't really good. So I think we will have some problems. Big subject of study in political economy and trans, uh, transition studies. Okay, I'll stop being a nerd in chat. No, it's fine, Baron. I like to like to read up on this. You are very, very knowledgeable on these things. I did, I did boost it to 12%. This is devolving. 
I think it's most likely a market issue. I'll have to make the theater here, bathhouse here, move a market here. Let's get this here. Got a second market. <laughs> People will go ape should they will. I should do some work, okay, right. Well, anyways, thanks for thanks for the chat bar. It was very enlightening. I hope your hoksha run on workers and resources goes well. Oh yes, you should. We shouldn't be talking about this. <laughs> we really should not. Now we have some money. Not much, but a little bit. Okay. Then why we can have that? I'll have to. Yeah, I should be microing my my gifts, right? Yes. Send him a gift. Um, line block. I need to make a line block. What's what does our population advisor say? 2260, which means that we almost have full set. Uh, we still have unemployment though, so I'll have to figure out what to do with these people. And I don't know. I do not know that. I could pacify some natives and make some more food. Because we can certainly use that. We can even export that, so... It's probably not a bad idea to do that. Put this here. Mission post, yeah. So now it's tanking. You just squeeze in more houses in that block. I could here, but I need to keep some entrance. This needs to be line blocks. Get me some extra population. And we need water through here as well. But I could get like, I don't know, two more houses, three more houses. possibly get four but it's gonna stretch it a little bit but not really a problem when people get worked up if you have an academic discussion for the subject it's fine i mean yes but also twitch overlay isn't fond of you discussing politics unless it's very specifically their politics oh no 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 no, no. problems So, you know, uh, I do enjoy discussions like this, but I always feel like at every moment stuff can go wrong and um, we can just have problems because of it. Yes, natives will go apeshit. And unfortunately they will go apeshit from everywhere. My fault, it's my fault, let's just let it happen. We have prefects though, so we are probably fine. More vegetables. I should do some fruit over here as well. If no, 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 that's vines. Fruit. Expert fruits, and we didn't allow traders in here. Nor we will allow. No, we shouldn't allow them here either. Okay. <coughs> move the actors' colony. Moving the small temples. Maybe amphitheater too. Mm, not sure. I ca I can move the actors' colony, but the space is not that rich in the first place. I might need more workshops. Temples could be moved, but the one block is not gonna cut it. We'll need a line block anyways. So I think I'm gonna squeeze in a couple and then do a line block. Don't forget the services. Um, here? Oh yeah, I don't block this off, right? <laughs> Thanks. I don't know why I'm so special today, but I don't know what I would do without you. <laughs> Clearly, not at my best. Then to my defense, I my sleep is horrible lately. So my attention spam is just like goldfish. Cloud the savior, yeah. So, are people gonna come here? 
they hate the taxes, I think. And yeah, but I kind of have to have it. Let's pay them some more money <laughs> instead. Yes, that's what they wanted. Get it there instead. Said I can't demand a happy block. <laughs> Not on this map. This map is a monster. Yeah, I can on like the map looks big, right? Well, you can only build here on these little little places. You cannot really use most of the map. So I don't think that would be too reasonable. Um, but yeah. Got a statue in here. <coughs> Should probably do something about this desirability. Thinking about moving some of the temples. What about the other one? It's Mars. I think gods are angry at me. <laughs> I need to spam more. This is bad. Move this here. Give them a couple of Plararii. Remove this. Should help them and uh, what did I want? Yes, temple spam. Unfortunately, we have to do it. Bridge is now live on Haven. Finally, I uh, can let the burn go. Wasn't it live for a long time already? I mean, you did update the map recently, didn't you? Yeah, if you have new resources, um, if you want people to be able to play with the new resources, you need to update the maps that have custom empires. Upload it for Valentine, but you got a special version of it, Sand and Stone. Without Sand and Stone, right? <laughs> yes, you you would have to do a lot of updating. You've got lots of custom empires scenarios. <sighs> Let's put this school here. Go with another house. I'm really stretching it though, I shouldn't be doing this, but whatever. What's our housing advisor saying? Two, six, okay. I should probably send him a gift again. Yeah, small gifts. Do we make a line block already? I feel like I don't need it yet. But we can, we, we need it anyways. Everything needs to be Grand Insula. Um Alright, let's let's put a road going through here. I need the water, which is gonna be a bit annoying. I might actually be better off having it here for that reason. So water will need to be brought. And I could just have it like this as well. But key is, I don't want to make extra logistics at things. I need just a couple of markets and ferry the goods a long distance. That's what I want. Mm. Roadblock this heavily. Plus this as well. That last one will not work. Three markets. So 
So how many people will we really need realistically? I don't think that many. Something like this should be enough. If not, then we can add a couple more, perhaps. Okay, we need services for this. This is birthday gift. I, uh, I did, I did um, send him a gift. I'm sending him yearly gifts now because that's what we have to do with two denarii salary. Um, Right, well, we all have to put this somewhere. It's, there are no great spaces for this. So it's gonna have to go like here. Plus, um, bathhouse. They'll need a temple. <clears throat> I'll need extra temples anyways. So I'm gonna give them series. And then some garbage spam here. Is that series? Yes. So the last one is not doable. It's gonna be jobs, which we need anyways. The other school. Library, amphitheater. Arena. Okay, let's see. Mm, no, don't have that much money, so we need to be careful. Let's build a farm and we need to fund in these. Plaza. Need to give them some statues. Let's go with Legionary. And some Goddess statues. Quick shot in Sula, yes. That's what, what, it, what happens when you tap the source. We don't really have to worry about too many things, which is great. This guy is complaining, I cannot give you things. I can, maybe, but this is really not great. Okay, statues, equestrian statue, put it here. That helps. This dude. Yeah, yeah, you hate life. I cannot help you. Um, and But everyone, everyone and anyone needs to be insulate. If we don't have insulate, for everyone, then our prosperity is not gonna happen. So, okay. How are we looking on population? Yes, 4,032 people. Exactly. From when uh, that robber get out on the street until he disappeared, his health have walked from a tent to a grand insulae. Yeah. Down with the governor and in the meantime behind him, a rapid evolution. <laughs> So yeah, population should be fine, we need prosperity and favor. Um, also employment, we all need to employ people somehow, which is not gonna be simple. I need to think about actually doing something that is worth some money. But for now, let's keep making some workshops. I think pottery might be good to do. Uh, doesn't seem like we actually need that much of it. But yeah, even if I had to place for it, there's again uh, issues with placing anything anywhere are commonplace. Let's do it here. It's very far away. This is a bad idea. I can actually fix it by doing this. your house and it immediately evolves on 
uh, then you might have a problem. Yeah. Yeah, problem is you, not the house, clearly. Alright. Okay, paper. Send him a uh, yeah, small gift. It's the best. I just need to not forget to micro them. So, April. It's such a cool map, but you don't actually get to build on most of the interesting parts. So I feel like that's a team though. You can map, isn't it? Isn't it? Let's add more prefects for public order reasons for the blocks. Um, we might actually go with some other jobs somewhere because this is not really working out too well. I'm just gonna do some temples. It's lovely, but it's gonna be some extra jobs at least. And we've done some culture dumping or something. I don't need it, right? No. But I need jobs. Hey there, guys. Welcome. You just hate it when when your chair breaks and your house immediately becomes a shack. <laughs> yeah. So it happens to everyone, isn't it? A gamer chair breaks and then you immediately devolve into living in a shack made of corrugated metal. Full tropical style. Easily could have been a very small map, but I'm sure escaping so much that I... Uh, <clears throat> that's why I offer enormous ones still. Okay, right. Yeah, like the actual space is like tiny map. For where you can actually build. And again, I think you make very beautiful maps, but... For gameplay reasons, it's just so baffling to see all this and not being able to touch it. It's just, you know... Again, not much of a fan of that. You, on most of these maps, I don't really have choices. What I do or build, where, where I build, I don't think. And it's sad. It's very sad. It takes away one of the key elements that I enjoy in the game. It's causing fires that we are having the crime, yeah. Because even industry spawns crime now, so yeah. Is that vegetable and fruits? Yes. Try to put it out. Fucking crime. <sighs> just fine, take 8% and just fuck off. <laughs> it's all because of the tax ray. We are playing on very hard, so they are very, very, very angry very quickly. And natives? And now the natives! Ah! Fuck, what? What happened with this? I don't understand it. Okay, let's... Can I build this here? Yeah, let's let's try to have that. But we need another one. Okay, fine. Let's make this here. This is so awful. We have some money to fix it, but... It's terrible. No, don't smash that. It's supposed to make you calm down. Calm down. Calm down, you fuckers. Calm down. Calm down. Fruits, vegetables. Okay. All good. Hey there, welcome. Just let that reduce farmland elsewhere, too. What are they so mad about? Taxes! 12% taxes with them being paid eight, eight more than are than Rome, but it's very hard, so sentiment is crushing you. I have only insula, a grand insula at that, and they are still apeshit because they're very hard. Time for some beating, yes. Uh, the prefects are the only thing that made that remotely possible. But food is awful here now, because this crumbled. Um, yeah, I need to kind of stop exporting my food, don't I? This isn't looking good. Well, who knows, maybe it's gonna be fine. Once this kicks back. Just need some pop, but people are... Yeah, they are moving in now, actually. So that's fine. Uh, prosperity... Prosperity will rise to 80. Favor. Send him a medium gift. I 
got the block of some parts in the initial version and even the water was only up there, it made space abundant. Okay. Yeah, I mean, again, it's, you know, um, remember when I played your first map ever, you can? I need to do culture dumping for library, yes. Uh, remember when I played the first map, uh, Tolum, Coast of Tolum, um, you remember what Baron said? It's such a shame that you cannot build on that far uh, right side of the map. And this is basically that, just being brought even to a bigger extreme where uh, you really only have this little snake of a road and then this. Um, you know, and already, like, the, you know, I'm not the most extreme of people. Like, I do actually appreciate a lot of things that others don't. And I can understand a lot of design decisions. But even the, like, for, even for me, this is too much. It's, I, again, I enjoy making decisions and choices. And I feel like I don't have choices. I just build what I have to do. But that is, can you really do something else than this? Not much. I think practically every city will look the same, basically. Because you cannot really do much else, I don't think. Isn't that a shame? Yeah. I think it's a bit of a shame. But then again, it would probably make the map trivial. You would need to get the goals a bit a little bit different. Um, which is fine, you know, the map is what it is. It's just, again, the early game economy might be slightly too much punishing for what this trade route is. It's too long for its own good. Because it forces you to not export the food early on. And that's, you know, if you wanted that to happen, then it just doesn't work like that. I'm thinking about making a highway, but I think that's too much of an expense that I cannot really afford. So let's just wait. Oh, this food is looking awful. I should probably add some card depots if I can. Vegetables from 63. Quotas are kind of low and Vine especially gets fulfilled in a couple of months. Um, yeah, but then again, you if you don't want, you know, if you want to diversify and you want to also export food, then it needs to be here and that's a problem because you cannot make these natives go away until you have a thousand pop. So it ends up you being not you're just reliant on the vine but you cannot do anything else no other export is viable if you enable a granary here you know what's gonna happen the traders are gonna ping pong and this is a shit ton of ping ponging and it's gonna result in them leaving the map after like four years my furniture you can have that need to do some more dumping I need jobs I don't know where I just kind of have to isolate them here let's make a native drum circle yeah it would be a completely different map at that point so yeah uh, I would like there to be options but I understand that Providing access would completely break whatever this has in mind for itself. So it's just a different kind of map, I guess. That's how we need to look on it. Um, but you know, by itself is not bad. It's just a bit of a shame, I think, a waste of a waste of a good map. Because um, again, I think every city will pr practically look the same on this one, since you don't really have choices. So how is this, this looking? There is fruit in here. Should probably bring it. I just... Where do I build this? No space. No space for anything anywhere. Let's build it here. Let's get this to be fruits. Fruits. Bring it from... 6 to 3. 
Is that correct? Six. Three, yes. Oh no, devolution. Is this because of food? Yes. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. In the map, uh, being as big just baits the player. Oh, maybe create a smaller base mm, map next time. Yeah, I mean, when you see it like this, it completely like, you know, you are using like 15% of it and you feel like it's just, I don't know, it's... I don't know what to compare it to. Um, it's just an odd feeling, like you think you have places to build on and things you do, yeah, gift. But it's not what you can do really. Um, which makes you sad. But again, maybe that's just me. I don't know. I cannot speak for everyone. But to me, it does feel like that. Um, okay, okay, okay. Let's let's build a highway. Mm, I don't know. This is gonna be horrible for the housing um, desirability, but it could help the market ladies a little bit. Hello Jake, welcome. Nice get on this way. Yeah, I wish these evolved as well. It's just the lack of food we are having. I need to stop exporting it. Even though it's part of where my money is coming from, I cannot afford it. We need every f bit of food for our actual city. Yeah, he, he wants even more food now. That's awful. I <laughs> Okay, fine. Fine. You can have it. It's gonna cause horrible problems for the set here, but we need favor to win the video game. Through this, I think it's not gonna happen. Almost there. Just need the prosperity and favor. I'd like this to happen. Okay, Devante, let's do it. And then I could import fish, it's just not what I want to do at all. And I would have to do it here anyways. Mm. Which would be even more awful, like, imagine the market ladies getting the third type of food. They're already struggling with two. I don't think that would do too well. I can gift again, I suppose. Yeah, we have to. Need to prosperity. Uh, it's all about these large insulae they need to evolve, but second type of food is not available. Blessing from Mars, that's not what I want. They need blessing from Ceres to just temporarily have more food, and money is looking horrible. As it always is. Uh, I think speeding up is not working. Uh, this is slowly evolving up. But this granary is empty a lot of the time. Not good. Okay, let's risk something. Let's make this into a highway. Not everything, just a little bit of it. Highway is very very expensive, but it might help us out a little bit. The supply, especially, is it a crucial part. If the supply is high enough, we will be fine. Food types, yes, all of them are insulate. Grand insulate, that is. Send him divine, and end of the year we should get up to. 80 prosperity. Money is horrible. March. We need this not to crumble in the meantime. Looking good. 
Is it? I think a year passed and we didn't get it. Mm. <laughs> Why? I'll have to invest into a little highway here as well. Speed up the supply. December, come on. January, no, <laughs> my prosperity is fine. It's the money, we are not making money, therefore, uh, you know. That's causing issues. Because if you don't make a profit, that's also impacting our prosperity. But economy on this map is so awful that you really cannot make money. <laughs> like, I would need to, I can probably export some oil or something. But that's here, like imagine the ping pong distance for this. It will be awful. I know, I know, but what what am I supposed to do if I I need money? If I don't get money, we lose. I know it's not good. We just have to hope that people don't rise up. 10% and it's not... No. <laughs> Oh, Nep Neptune Blessing might help me. Yes. Okay, fine. Well, that was an adventure. Uh, sorry if I, was, if I was too harsh. Um, I just start about the map. I mean, again, the map is very, very nice. It's not easy. Um, but the map is nice, but the limiting factor of it is just making me so angry. It's... Will you make such a nice map and then you allow me to build on like 10% of it? Why? I don't understand it. It's... I don't know. It's it's a puzzle map. It's a puzzle map, I suppose. Darth Mara, yes. <laughs> no nice things. Always have to be mean. Okay, let's... Let's take a look at it. This is the bug, right? I don't... I don't want that. How is it called? C something? Cosia? Cosio? Yes. Peaceful... Right. I've heard there are jobs here. Uh, I want to be a lion tamer. Oh, thanks for the follow. Um, right. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I feel like everyone who would be playing would probably build the same thing. You could possibly do something else with the housing, but... Um, I don't know. But I, I feel like the thing I did is just the only thing you can really do, because you only have these three um, glades, really. And... Trader itself is awful. Um, you barely can fit the workshops and the warehouses here. Kirillus fixed the resource graphics bug in the meantime. Oh, that's great. Thanks. <coughs> Land tamer. I want to be card pusher. Not only will I get paid competitive wage, but I'll get swole while doing it. <laughs> Clearly. And you get to be belly aching all the time and complaining, of course. Uh, because that's what card pushers do. But, yeah, again, very, very nice map from Hicken. Mines could be grown on the first glade for export, but that would make for traveling longer, yes. And also impossible, <laughs> because um, this is you need 1000 pop, and this is infested by natives. Um, you can probably grow some of it here, but imagine how awful it will be. Uh, when you actually get to pacify them later, you would have to redesign the whole thing. Not what I want. Not what I want at all. And having exports here, like, that's even worse, isn't it? Like, I can probably have, like, a warehouse and some manufacturing here. Wish I didn't use this. But that's not a lot of space for olives, pottery, and furniture. Might have been an option. But I felt like that's not obvious. Obvious is use this because you need just a couple of farms for exports for vines while you need a lot of farms for food and building amongst the natives like this is not good you don't want to do this take this 556 weapons to go <laughs> yeah clearly he only wanted to interrupt the vines farmer yes he is not allowed to have nice things look at the bugger how dare he having nice things? No one can ever have nice things, apart from us. 
So yes. Uh, also the initial money, I feel like you could have given the player at least like 400 extra denarii. This is really not a lot. And I didn't fill the block completely with housing, as I would usually do. And still had debt issues. <laughs> so, you know. It's fine as it is, it's just, you know, I not, it would not be my favorite map from you. <laughs> That's what I would say. But it's not bad, like, you know, as far as maps go, definitely much better than the campaign still. And definitely well, uh, better than most maps are. It's just very limiting. That's what I would say. I could tell. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, thanks for making it, you can. Um, let's, let's, no, we don't need to save. Let's go back to the menu. And you'll play Arrakis, you'll play Arrakis today. I just need, I just need to switch the Steam title and everything. So just give me a second. I promised you you'll play more. So you'll play more. But first, actually, no, 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 in that resolution, this. Um, what I need to do is, is this, is this displaying correctly? Yes. I need to get the new version of Augustus. So let's go to the Senate. <clears throat> now I'll grab the new version. <laughs> yeah, Fairby wants to play it. No problem. Thanks for watching Fairby. See you around. I have to probably split this into two videos later, which is a little bit annoying, but it's fine. Unstable and assets. No, what have I done? Okay, Kate is home. I'm gonna be right back. I need to go and say hi.
Okay. I would look okay. Two minutes. Yeah. Uh, let me just make sure I've got everything at it. And do uh, Augustus works. Again, as I said, I'll have to cut this into multiple parts for YouTube, but that's fine. I need to just change this theme title. Uh, what is that? Okay, hello, welcome. So today we'll be playing a custom map for Z3 Augustus, uh, which is called Dune Conquest of Arrakis, and it's a map made by myself um, with the new event system and custom empires. And so it is a little bit of a different take on a usual Z3 map creation, uh, which will feature lots of different custom events and quests to fulfill on the map. And there is gonna be some heavy military activity as well. Um, if you're familiar with Dune Universe, you will uh, recognize a lot of the things that are going to be talked about. Let's uh, switch view the game itself. Is this going to capture properly? No. So let me just make sure. I just grab a new version, so that's why. That's why it's like that. So just give me a sec. Uh, do I have to do game capture for this? Sleeper must awaken. This is a different thing, but. Yeah, Gothic is good as well. Okay, why is this like that? Something is covering that. What is that? Yes, this, whatever this is. Good, this is the map. So let's get music back. There are no instructions per se. All of it is gonna be uh, through the events. So no need to do AI voice or anything. We'll just wait and game settings. Let's get some music and sounds. So we will get an event uh, to trigger soon that's gonna tell us what we need to do. Uh, we can see that our um, time limit is 744 months. That's enough really for any map. It's just there so people don't outweigh the attacks. We've got 3150 denarii to start with. It's not much, but it's enough. Uh, we start with some pre-placed little roads where you can start a block easily, but I'll probably do something uh, a little bit different. Um, at the point right here, exit point right here. Now, uh, 
something to be said about the map itself. It features a lot of uh, different things than you would have normally. Like um, olives are supposed to be spice uh, and oil is supposed to be spice. So olives is unrefined spice. Um, therefore, they will have the highest value. Um, and you also have uh, points of interest on the map. So if there is a cross with a road, that means that you can get a farmland, which you can only farm olives. It's Arrakis. So you need to import all your food. Uh, which is going to be facilitated through the Empire map. But you've got uh, these points uh, on the map, which most of them are guarded by natives, but not all of them. And these are where you can get spice. Uh, if it's a circular pattern, that means that you can get um, regular rocks for mining. So you can get um, stone or um, iron or marble, but currently we don't have any of that unlocked. Uh, it's going to be progressively unlocking thing. Um, Sand. You can also dig sand and sell it and that's around water, which it's supposed to be Arrakis with basically no water, but this is Caesar. You need to have some water for things to function and so I try to minimize it as much as possible. You still do have it on these outskirts, but it's as minimal as possible. Uh, otherwise, uh, one of our objectives is going to be not build housing on the low ground, on the high ground. As in Dune, you would have the sandworm activity on the low ground. Uh, high ground would be uh, rocks, so it would be solid and safe. Um, anything else? Oh yes, a military. This is the Fremen siege, which is the uh, hideout of the Fremen. Basically, this is where they will invade from. And so you have three invasion points, and you can only build legionaries and watchtowers, um, but not yet. We don't even start with that. Very basic start. You don't really have much of anything, but eventually we'll unlock these things. So. Uh, let's go ahead and start doing a block, but we need to figure out where. So I think I saw, I've seen someone, someone posted a city uh, with, you know, there were some issues with the map as well because it's very new, so I had to fix some stuff. And so he had a block here. This is actually the best place to put one, I think. That was uh, actually really well recognized by him. And so we'll probably do the same thing. I uh, just need to figure out where to put this. Yeah, so let's put it here, make it as long as possible, 96, it still do. And let's put down some housing. We cannot fill the whole thing. Uh, as with the last map, this one will require us to be a little bit careful about the money as well. But we will get a reward of, uh, you know, when you complete these objectives, you actually get paid money to facilitate further expansion, so you don't have to wait around for ages just to trade a little bit. And we need some services, so let's get an engineer. We need two prefects, because this is in fact a desert. Let's use these rocks, because we cannot use them for anything else anyways. And a barber and a doctor. So these are the basics, plus uh, temples. I'd like the temples to be elsewhere, like, I don't think I will use this area for much at all. I just need to figure out what temples to give to my block. Which I actually think even the series could have, could have been good. So this goes here, this goes here. I think Venus and I deleted Neptune. So let's get Neptune. And we could do series here as well, but let's not bother for now. Make sure that this has its service. Okay, we can actually invest into a couple extra houses, at least. The game will want me to feed my people rather soon, we'll see if we'll do that. <laughs> so people should be arriving, they are, let's take a look at our wages, 5, let's drop it to 2. Welcome to Arrakis. We are playing as one of the minor noble houses that has decided to capitalize on the power vacuum created by the recent wars. Your task will not be easy, and especially at the start you should carefully consider what to focus your limited resources on. Since the other factions are exhausted by warfare, they are quite happy trading with our outpost, but as our influence grows, we should make sure to field sufficient veteran forces to avoid conflict. Special features of the map. Oil equals spice, which is very valuable, but workshops are, and most advanced structures are locked at the start. Fulfill objectives to grow, get funding, and unlock new buildings. Emperor will request shipments of unrefined spice, olives, and eventually refined spice oil. So if you are 
Uh, if you are to be respected, we need to make sure to pay our MPL tax. Additional objectives. Build housing only on high ground areas. Tax rate for whole planet of Arak is set to 8%. If you exceed this, you will lose favor rapidly. Do not underestimate light game military. It will be all the way to the maximum size due to linear invasion points and defenses. That being said, you should only use legionaries. Okay. So first objective, establishing an outpost. Our first course of action will be setting up basic housing for our workers and provide them with rudimentary infrastructure and water wells. After this, we need to start importing ration packs from our faction's home base, wheat. After we feed our people, we should be able to survey the land and ex uh, for exploitable resources. So if we reach 300 population and have an active market and a granary, we will get rewarded 1500 solari, which is denari, and plus resource extraction technology. So that's gonna be raw resource production, not all of it, just some of it. So that's our next goal. Well, let's people moving. We cannot really go ham on that, as I said, so we should be careful about expansion. We'll need to build a granary and a market. We could bypass this area and just keep it for something else, because the traders will want to come through here. So we could allow them to do that. I probably will. Do it here. Let's get native overlay. It's a very important overlay for this map. The map is full of natives, but initially you cannot pacify them. Of course, eventually you can, but you need to be careful about where to build on. Uh, let's get a market. Let's get a roadblock. Accept wheat. And I'm gonna show you the Empire maps. We are here in our outpost. Our home base is the first day route. It's very cheap to open it, buys some spice, and it will it will sell us wheat. So let's do that. Let's import wheat. Let's Yeah, just have that for now. So we need to. We need 300 pot. Which we Definitely don't have that yet. But we should get it, I think. 170. How many people can we fit into our city at the moment? 360. Okay, let's just let that happen. We don't want to go too crazy on this. Could water them, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm worried about uh, health, if anything, but not, not evolutions for now. Market will stack up food in them. Anyways, when they evolve, they're gonna get fed immediately. When we give them water. But money is not looking great. We need that population 300. So when that happens, you need to wait a month. That's how the triggers work. Okay, striking the, striking the land. We managed to send our surveyors. They reported high concentrations of spice and olives on the low ground. We cannot exploit. We however cannot pros process it and so for for now we are limited to exporting unrefined raw spice. Surveyors also report the founding of top quality sand and stone, which we can surely trade with the nearby city of Kachak, since House of Harkonnen is always hungry for building materials to fund their immense construction projects and fortifications. So olive stone and sand unlocked and we got 1500 solar. Good, so let's take a look. So what do we do first is some spice here. We'll use these. We can only have one, so let's have one there, and one here. And I'll want a sand pit here, here, and here. I'll want a warehouse. Let's put this thing here. Don't tell Twitch that this map is based around <laughs> Part of the drug. <laughs> yes, I mean spice is uh, spice is like that. It's the enabler of space travel into the universe, though. The Dune is basically like, you know, uh, before there was 40k, there was Dune. It's kind of similar in that they're navigators basically for the warp. Uh, they need spice, but navigators are um, something I'm not gonna touch upon. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It's something. Uh, let's get some sand over here. 
and we'll have to do trading elsewhere. So let's uh, let's get a warehouse here. There is water there, so let's put a warehouse right here. Make a couple of depots. Prefect and engineer here. This thing's gonna accept eight sand, eight stone, eight olives. And that's it. And we'll do yeah, this, but oh yeah, now I can see the function. That's actually really really good. Not wheat, I need I need sand, but we need this to activate first. Unemployment. It's fine. Spice extends life, spice extends consciousness. Yes, but it also turns you into a monster if you abuse it. <laughs> it also is um, very addictive, as it is a drug. <laughs> but yes, it extends lifespan as well. So let's bring it from 2 to 3. And let's bring sand from 2 to 3. And Hugen is a fan of Dune, I know that for a fact. So he was looking forward to uh, seeing me, seeing me play the map. Um, I, th I think it's a quite cool concept for a map for Caesar. It's just like completely different take on the custom maps, and that's what's now possible with the custom events. Water traders approaches. You've been approached by local water merchants. They have pointed out that the local area has deposits of underground water, which is most valuable resource in Arrakis. They propose us a deal. If we fund them with 3000 solari, they will allow us to pinpoint locations of these water deposits for our own use. Objective, accumulate 4000 solari, 3000 will be deducted to unlock reservoirs. Okay. This is kinda silly. Uh, on Arrakis you don't really have water. Um, but again, it's a Caesar map, you need to take some creative liberties, otherwise you'd be locked at large shacks, so... You know, for the sake of that, we need to, we need to do that. Spice is super rare in the universe, but on Arrakis, water is even more rare. Yes, spice. Correct. Because people on Arrakis actually eat spice as well, as just as a regular food source as well. Which usually in the universe would not be the case, <laughs> but yes, water water is very rare. That's why the Fremen use still suits, uh, which uh, reprocess water. They 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 worship water, and they they don't waste it, and they see it as a you know very very valuable resource, which it is on on Dune or on Arrakis rather. Um, okay, so we need to open up another trade route, which is we're gonna trade it with Karthag, which is the main uh, city of uh, Harkonnen house but they will sell us weapons and bricks and they will buy sand and stone uh, it's quite cheap I'll do that but not yet need to wait a little bit got some sand and some spice already putting a baby worm in water <laughs> some kick kick fast drink <laughs> yes okay I would really want to wait for my reservoirs but I don't think I'll be able to do that. Let's trade with Kartag. Sell them sand. Sell this. How are we looking on population? Yeah, I feel like adding another layer of housing here would be preferable to evolve or to getting water. It's gonna be expensive, but we can do that and then we can expand the industry. If we get enough, um, we get like eight raw resource production buildings. Uh, we'll get some extra funding from Harkonnen, I think. Although there seem to be unknown water reservoirs on Arrakis in the underground. <laughs> yes, here at least, but I'm not sure. I don't actually remember that well, but there is some water for sure on Arrakis. It's just, you know, not very common at all. And uh, places that have it are very guarded for obvious reasons. Water of life, what I'm gonna call it. Yes. If you drown the baby worm in it. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 you don't. Well, they do. So let's just wait.
Okay, expand the mines. Check the native overlay. I'll have to go all the way here. Put uh, extra services. I don't trust this. And we'll want to expand it anyway, eventually. It's February. We'll check the quota um, later. We have some spice here. We'll see if they buy it. Lots and lots of tents. I'm a little bit worried about the health. Harkonnen Emissary. We received 750 solari from House Harkonnen. Yeah, they uh, they will ask you to develop eight industrial uh, raw resource production buildings, and that is when you. Uh, I don't remember the trigger, but you the bad thing with the events is currently as it is, you can kind of complete it before the game even tells you sometimes what the quest is. So I know that we are supposed to be doing that, but you know if you play regularly, you would be told like. Harkonnens are interested in investing. If you expand your production, you'll get extra money. And that's that's how it's like, you know, um, blends wise supposed to be. So you don't have to wait around for ages for money, but it's not like insane amount. So it still will take you time to develop. Okay, let's put this here. Engineer, prefect. And let's accept stone. And let's get card depot right here. This thing's gonna get stone from two to three. The sand mines are very yellowish. I might report it as a visual suspect to the vines. They are very yellowish. But I don't know. <laughs> I think that's how they're supposed to supposed to look like. Isn't it? How much does a set might produce a year? Is it 4.8? I think it's different. I I actually asked about that. Cordelius told me. I think I just forgot. Valentin is part of the Augustus Discord as well now. Okay. Um, no, where is it? Where is it? It's important. I was arguing with Zardos. <laughs> where is this? This is bad. I always. Process looks like the, in the Marvel Mines. Yeah, sort of. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking for it. I asked about it. I forgot where it is. Oh, there it is. Um, okay, sand has 14.4 yearly production. So it's more than usual. So 14.4. And like, you know, 4.8 is marble uh, rate. A raw resource like clay is 9.6. So. It wouldn't make sense to make sand extract slower than, you know, uh, clay, I think. So it is actually the fastest at 14.4. Stone is 9.6. Um, bricks is 7.2 per year. So it's still faster manufacturing than most workshops or all workshops. And concrete is 14.4 as well, but you cannot sell that. Reservoir access or 7.2 with just fountain or well access. And gold has 2.4. So sand is very quick, and they'll make lots of it. Yes, send him the sand, and uh, I can show you prices. Uh, it's not high; like we are getting paid 35, and that's gonna also drop as we go. So, especially when we need to import various things, it's gonna cost us a lot of money. Okay, so what's next? We need to accumulate money so that we can get that quest done with the. Reservoir because unemployment is not high. 
Sand isn't bad at, isn't bad at resource, they could have made it a 3x3 building to give resources some variety, yes. But um, I especially don't like how you can place this sand pit like very far away from water and still work. Like, look at that. Look at this. <laughs> Imagine placing a clay pit this far away. No, uh, it will get changed, this. It will be like clay. Uh, so that's good. I think that's what they said on Augusta's Discord, anyways. Which is important. Um, so I don't think that would have been very balanced. Harkonnen Emissary, yes, this is the side objective. Baron Harkonnen has sent an emissary with a proposal. If you establish sufficient processing capabilities for stone and sand, we will get a paid solar bonus for exclusive trading rights with Karchak. Okay, we already did that, so... It's kind of weird how you can complete it before it fires, but unfortunately that's just how it is. Are we selling stone? No, let's do that. Sell stone. So Kartak is buying... Yeah, they bought much of sand. Some stone. And there is already a distant battle. Our home base... Yeah. Would like more spice, but uh, in order to get that, we would have to go here, into the desert. It's insane, it is. Absolutely. Also hard to judge and just completely breaks the balance of the map because you cannot really judge it very well. Well, it with clay you can limit it very easily. Need that money. I could just go with water, but I feel like we should wait for that money and then get the military a little bit later. So what's our current objective? I don't think we have one. So we are just supposed to just play the video game and oh yeah the water once you get the water then you get military i think or maybe it's timed as well it might just unlock by itself water sources for sand no so you need actual water on the map itself It's not, uh, it's not really, really dangerous before the Sardukar arrive. <laughs> well, they, they will. Um, they will arrive, so we need to be careful. Ferment traders... Yeah, some of these traders are very expensive, by the way. Um, black market, we can open this and sell even more sand and stone, but we are currently not even fulfilling this, I don't think. So that's alright. I actually need another depot. Well, wow, that's awful with the sarcasm, but whatever. Let's bring sand from two to three. Three thousand. We need four thousand for that reservoir event to trigger. Setting up defenses. Our harvester crews were recently disturbed by Fremen raiders. They have a siege in the southeast and are apparently preparing to attack us. We should consider it a priority to start importing weapons to train some militia and build some watchtowers. Only legionaries are allowed in Dune Universe. Personal shield technology is advanced and ranged warfare is not really very useful. Uh, unlocked barracks, fort, supply post and watchtowers. New objectives have at least 16 legionaries and we'll get rewarded by new trade opportunities. Okay. No, I need money. Uh, I need 4,000. I don't know why I lost money. Oh, yeah, tribute, probably. We need that money before we start doing the weapons. Okay, 4,000. We need to wait a month. Okay, water cisterns. As promised, the water merchants showed us the water deposits, and we can now make use of them to provide better quality of life for our subjects. We should make sure to use this time to grow our base. Okay, so we lost 3,000, but we got access to water. Well worth it. Worth it. We need to keep this space for extra line block. Uh, let's put a reservoir here. And a reservoir here. Bring out the aqueduct. Hug the wall like that, it's fine. Careful with the natives. Build a bathhouse somewhere. Uh, it's actually gonna be pretty tricky. I, uh, I might remove this one. And watering people. 
It's gonna be tricky as well, it's a desert, so, you know. It's one will require its own fountain. It's fine. So they should have they should have various things. Let's give them a theater and a school. And a forum. No, we cannot build a forum yet, All right. Also our desirability options are very limited currently. Get a marble column. Let's get some Larari. So give us extra workers. price on sand and stone great uh, okay you can extract sand here you could also go and know that it's infested by natives I need to just think about military soon but mm, money is probably more important at the moment probably need its own warehouse here to transport stone to the main area let's make some stone quarries first Get a warehouse here. I don't trust that prefect. <clears throat> Let's get another one and no traders except stone. And we'll do a depot right here. Which the depot is gonna go stone from four to three. Is that correct? Yes. You switch versions. The timber bag doesn't appear anymore. Yes, I've I've switched the versions. Hey, Lizard, welcome. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> I've just played with the version you've sent me because the map was made for it, but if I play myself I want the most recent most decent version. Um, okay. Let's get some columns. I suppose. Might not help all that much, but a little bit helps. We just don't have the desirability options yet. We need that military, right? Uh, I didn't take a bailout yet, so we might do that. I need a supply post. Let's build this thing here. And we have to go with legionaries, so that's gonna be awful. Uh, we also want our military district to be somewhere along here yes caesar is mad let's get a fort for legionaries can i have my natives overlay yes and let's build a fort this is all resources location as well but i'm gonna put my first fort here it's gonna be dead but we kind of need it start Doing that, and then we need to also import weapons, and we need to import them somewhere where my barracks is, which is um, a little bit annoying. Is this? This can have extra stuff, right? Yeah, eight weapons, and then we can accept said weapons over here. And we can get a card depot, and we can put this depot on weapons, and we can 
start getting it from three to two. Yes, and uh, import weapons. Import four. And see if we can make some soldiers happen. That bug was fixed really fast. Yes, I could really just fix it while I was playing your map. Just remember, I still have that price money to cash in, which was art made by you, yes? Yes. Is, is it those made from the salt coins? Yeah, it's like the icons uh, for a lot of those redemptions is what I made. So something simple like this, uh, whatever you'd like, you can tell me. Um, if you want me to make something, I can make it for you. You can use it as you know, either an av avatar or whatever uh, for yourself. That's what it's supposed to be. But again, I am really only capable of rather simple things. So cannot unfortunately go with uh, anything too elaborate. Yeah, it's a commission basically. But again, it's I'm not very good. So it's just related to the channel relay because you know if you watch if you watch my stuff then you would probably appreciate that but it was the personalized reward for uh for the map contest so that's that's the reason for it but yeah uh private economy is growing <laughs> well it's the debts are growing because of the weapons due to our recent advancements we will see an influx of solar in the local economy this would be perfect time to start ex exempting our authority and levy attacks on our pe populace if you want to be able to do so we only have to uh, we'll need to have sufficient housing quality for our subjects have 30 prosperity a reward forum arena and library and coliseum gods are getting pissed uh, okay what's our favorite There's, this is bad but it's due to the weapons because <laughs> the weapons Cost a fortune. Okay, let's make temples here. We cannot afford gods to be added to the list of enemies currently. I always thought it was a pre-made I was allowed to choose from. No, no, it. Uh, you can choose something, tell me, and I'll make it for you, and you can then you, you do whatever you want with it. So I commission. So some stone mines, did they already implement a chance? Yes, uh, so stone and sand. Uh, new resources for monument construction, but this map is Arrakis, so you have these as basic exports, basically. Um, that's what that is here, but yeah, uh, new resource, uh, very neat. Okay, I, I'll have to go even more into debt and open up black market and sell them sand and stone as well. It's horrible, I suspect Caesar might even get very mad at me, but 5,000 in debt. This is horrible. It's the weapons, no doubt. It's the weapons, isn't it? Imperial dispatch is ready. Imperial city of Arkin opens for trade. We are now well established and trade with the largest city on Arrakis. Uh, if we can trade with the uh, largest city on Arrakis if we wish so. We should consider opening the trade route and importing some of its processed goods to allow our outpost to grow into more permanent settlement, especially plus grade panels. Marble will be of great use to us. If you want to expand our industrial potential, we will need dedicated trading center and proper public facilities. Build uh, city of Arakin cannot be traded with, plus amphitheaters have been unlocked. New objective, construct trading center at Caravansera and five large temples. Reward workshops and uh, new resources. Okay. Well, um, the debt is crushing. I, I'll stop importing weapons now. <laughs> it's really bad for me. Oh, stop. And what does our economy say? Yeah, we've miscellaneous minus 3000. Oh yeah, that was that was the event that took my money. Trade receipts 5000, imports 4600, yeah. Wasn't Spice while creating the map himself? <laughs> I mean, it's Dune. Uh, and if you know a bit anything about Dune, which you do, you should know that personal shielding technology is very common. And so even regular soldiers will have it. And um, therefore not very useful to have very many ranged weapons. And so it's there for that reason. We have a year still. So we should be okay if we don't import any more weapons. We should have enough to fill this, yes. Come on, make money. <laughs> It's still we can send it to him. He's gonna be angry. Come on. Get out of that. Okay. Let's put our troops here. I don't think I can get them watchtowers. Maybe like two. But this is sketch. Ah! <laughs> 
that's some uh, cool addition to the game that text box is what I was wishing for and uh, even though I'm uh, in Augustus dev team I just don't have the time right now to stay up to date with the development yeah it's been a rocket science since Uberwafa has joined the project there have been so many new things available and this is one of them it's really good it's revolutionizing map making the events themselves as well unlocking new things pro uh, progressively you know we can do whatever we want now Still have insane money problems. Um, he's gonna be mad at me. Okay, so Macedonians. Much stronger than Greeks, but not insanely powerful. First attack was not that big of a threat. We need to make that money. If we don't make that money, we die soon. I cannot fight Caesar. I didn't build anything this year. Severe extension, a low price on rations, that's good. <laughs> it's the quota is fucked. Yeah. Okay, let's send him this. Let's send him a gift. See if we fix that. Um, yeah, that's not enough. You'll see, I might have to fight him. This is really bad. I don't think I can fight him. Oh, well, we'll have to try. Unfortunate, unfortunate. It's overextending like that, that uh, will kill the city. We don't really have the desirability options yet, so I'll have to just make do with what we have. And no reason not to spend now, because he's gonna invade me, like, for sure, he's gonna invade me. Uh, we need 30 prosperity to get, to get uh, form. But, more importantly, I need more spice, uh, and I cannot get it easily, there are natives guarding most of the locations for it. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> but Harkonnen is profiting off of us, just, you know, constantly selling him lots of construction materials, but it's not enough, clearly. Yeah, New Year, so we are making some profit. It's just, you know, if you expand too fast, it could be really bad for you. It's one of those cases. I need to make spice here. This is unfortunately guarded, but even a little bit here would actually help me. Olives. I can try to stockpile. We have unemployment, so... It's all well and good. Let's get a warehouse over here. Guard depot. No storages, freaking natives. Yeah. Perfect. Olives. Olives. Bring it from warehouse 5 to warehouse 3. Let's see. Yes. Okay, and yeah, Caesar is gonna invade me, I think. What's Spice? Uh, if you're not familiar with what uh, Dune Universe is, a drug that changes your perception and it's, you see things, the future in particular, yes. But it's also, um, Dune Universe has Spice as, basically, uh, humanity has ascended to the stars and now has a galactic empire spanning multiple planet systems and just has multiple colonies and everything but in order to travel between these planets it needs spice in the dune universe and that is this thing that only is found on this one desert planet yeah 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 um it's you know i made this map to be like a custom map that's uh, themed as dune with all the events and all the resources and everything so that's how it is um that's why we are talking about spice but it's olives <laughs> Plus great prices. We have been approached by a merchant from Arakin. If we establish at least 10 warehouses to facilitate trade, he's willing to negotiate prices of important plus great for us. He's also invested 1400 solar into our outpost, so we got some free money. No. <laughs> Again, it's a custom map. It's 
<laughs> and it's this is what I imagined with the custom maps, you know, not just make things more restrictive. Yes, that's also good. I am also making restrictions, but make it like this. This is actually cool. Much cooler, in my opinion, than the usual restrictions. So now you can do things like this. Um, we still need more. I don't think we are selling enough. Legion attacks, yes. Okay. I'll expect it. Let's put our troops here. This is bad. If you couldn't tell. <laughs> could be an interesting addition yeah uh, I think something like that is planned why are, where are they going they just immediately rush for the city I'm just fucked the Legion <laughs> look at where they are I made a beekeeper building one or two years ago so that's still in the pipeline yeah I mean lots of new things can be done but coding is the most important part I think like I should say our one thing but um, it's all about the coding as well, right? So yeah. I am most overextended. Displeased. Despite all the funds I invested in, I think it's Corano, isn't it? Noble House. With credit, you have let me down. Since you know Your that is Harkonnen, that means that Paul is not in yet. You was misplaced, and I am forced to find another governor to take your place. The Emperor. Perhaps you will fare better in the new role I have in mind for you. Okay. <clears throat> Let's play again. <laughs> it was not good. So, mistakes. Um, I still exported a lot of things, just the... You know, you need to kinda invest into the military and not die in that particular instance. We went like 5,000 in debt and that caused me to die. So, great. Uh, I made it harder because someone played it yesterday and said that it was totally too easy. I don't know. For me, it seems like mm, it's enough. But then again, I didn't wait for years to stockpile money before it happened. So maybe that's what I should do. Uh, so you know, constantly expanding is not something you should be doing. It's bad for you. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I need to raise star. I've done it. Wrong. It's supposed to be touching this side. That's the best you can do. Okay. Hmm. No. So bad at life today. Okay, so like that. Plus, you want to keep one tile from this mountain. And we can, this way, we can hopefully sp spend some less money on this look because some of the road was pre-placed not all of it but lots of it yeah even this can be used engineer prefect Doctor, Barber, another Prefect, it's our star. <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate. I need to be really careful about the money, you can really die really easily. I've read it already, so I'm not gonna read that again. Let's just throw this. We'll need some more people. Do that. And we'll just keep them as desert scraps, basically. I'll give them. Uh, I'll start importing the food, but we are not gonna give it to the people yet. base open up we are gonna be importing wheat we need 300 population 
What's the housing advisor saying? 240, all right. Let's intensify this. Taking 3,000 for watering tents is rough. Yes, uh, you can do it. You can do it with wells. But uh, I don't want to. That's my greed. Really? You can make wells. But I hate that it's a temporary thing. And it's just I don't, I don't like it. I'd rather wait. It's not good for you. But ne neither is rebuilding everything. <laughs> after you unlock reservoirs. So, you know. It's just an approach. Um, you'll see. We need 300 pop, we have it. So now a month needs to pass. Striking the land, we've unlocked uh, production. So let's do the spice first. I was thinking maybe you can cheese it, but no, I played this place this rock specifically because you could have done that previously where you could have two farms here. And that's not what I want uh, people to do, so it's not what we have. Uh, let's go ham on the sand again. It was really good last time. Um, it is um, rather expensive, but more money we can make the better and sooner we can make it the better. So let's do that. Let's get an engineer and a prefect. This is going to accept sand and olives. No traders. We'll have to set up our own trading area here again. Two car depots. Engineer prefect. Olives and sand. Wait until it activates. Water traders approach us. Sand from two to three. Olives from two to three. And we need some. Oh, yeah, gods. I forgot about the gods. Let's give them Ceres, Neptune, Mercury goes into the Gulag, Mars goes into the Gulag, Venus. Eventually I want these Grand Temples. <clears throat> let's invest into this, plus we want to have extra houses, so let's do that. We'll have to just push the industry to the limits now. We've received the extra funding, so that's fine. Once we get eight raw resource production buildings, like the soil pits or, you know, all these, then we will get extra funding from Harkonnens as well as the investment. So we should probably focus on doing that. Harkonnen Emissary gave us the money. This is because I know the event is there, otherwise you would not know. Oh, it's Carry sand from two to three with this one as well, and we'll start selling things. Let's open up Kartag, start exporting. So, export olives, we export sand, we export stone. I need to do some stone mining as well. Not yet. Population milestone, yes, let's densify and I'll need to actually make sure that we build that. I actually, yeah, I'll need a thing here as well, so we might as well build that bathhouse here eventually. I'm just planning ahead too much. Not like it matters right now. Pestilence, okay, yeah, I get punished for my health. Oh, it's because I didn't... No, I have a doctor and a barber. Yeah, it's the water. 
It's the water. We can survive it, I think. That's the greed, punishing me. Because you need to make money so that we can give them uh, fountain water. I don't want to make the, the wells. Do you play without clown zone? I don't know if it's a setting, but I don't find that particularly interesting or necessary. <laughs> Um, I guess we can enable it if you want. Uh, what is it? General settings? Um, city management? No. Interface? Draw cloud shadows? Maybe I need to save and load the video game. It's just, you know, visual things, just not, not my forte. Mm. Yeah, it's not here, I guess. I'll have to reload the game. <laughs> Arrakis doesn't have claw yet. <laughs> exactly. Um, so why would you, why would you have that, right? Let's load the game. Clouds, please? Nah. Nah. No class. Why? Why is it like this? Um, UI? I don't know. Let's just not care about this. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. See if we can make some money. Uh, it's June. Let's open up the black market as well. They'll buy some more sand from me. Splendid. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I did enable it, but it's not happening. And I loaded the game, and it's not happening. So I don't know. I don't know if it's my fault. It might be. Yeah, I couldn't. I miss her. We already did that. Get some sand pits in here. No, that's actually enclosed. All right. Well, I can still, I can still get some, some sand. Right. I don't know. I did. I did a good job this time. This is now off limits. Good. Natives. Even a single sand pit actually is going to be substantial for us. Let's get a highway tile. No. Here and here. Oh, there we go. Now it's rendered. Amazing. Amazing. It's one cloud. Oh yeah, because it's a desert. That's why it has so little clouds, I guess. Okay. They are. Okay. So I really need that. I really need that. Uh, water. Which is a problem. make this happen so if I just give it an extra prefect is it gonna be fine I don't trust it, it's a desert but maybe it's fine yeah it's fine So it's November, let's check the quota. Yeah, we sold a lot of sand to these people. No stone though, which is a bit of a problem. All the spice we sold. It is an attack on the way, I need to think about that as well. Oh no. Okay. Because I'm worried about the disease, but I don't want to water people with wells. Oh yeah, my seller, right? Yeah, I, I haven't tweaked that. Send him a medium gift. It's December, setting up defenses, yes. Should earn money. 
it's more important than other things at the moment. Should probably invest into the rocks. Uh, I don't have that much labor actually, so might wa might wait a little bit. Again, overextending could cause us to die, like last time. Need to be very careful. The weapon um, weapon imports kind of killed me, I think. Okay, four thousand. Water systems. Rome pays more wages already. It's quite a bit actually. Yeah, that sucks for me. Let's get this reservoir here and here. Let's get a bath house. When I water them, they're gonna start eating, so Bathhouse should give them extra health to not have them die. Now we need to make some more money, which we are making. We have problems funneling enough sand in here, clearly. I'll make another depot for sand from 3 to 2. No, from 2 to 3. There we go. Now we water them. They're gonna start eating food, which is not what I want. But uh, yeah, let's not give them school yet. Instead, we should focus on expanding the industry and then we'll need to rush military as well, but... Money is more important. If we don't have the money, we die. So this thing, can it accept stones as well? Yes. Accept some stone. Let's get a road. Make sure it has enough space to put some workshops around it later. Better block this off. Engineer and prefect. And then we need car depots for this thing. Let's get you some stone. Uh, we need to accept stone here. Accept. Warehouse 2 to warehouse 3. Missing some labor, but people are coming. Yeah, lower price. That's not good. Let's build a supply post. Effect here. Lack of desirability options is gonna be pretty bad. But yeah, I no reason to make them cast. I cannot tax them anyway for now. Hey Frank, you're welcome. How's the spice collecting going? We have two olive farms or spice farms for now, so not that great. Uh well, some challenges before we can. It'll make a lot of it. We cannot even refine it yet. Very slow start. That's how it is. Okay, we'll need to start importing the weapons, which is very worrying to me. So I need to accept it there and accept it here. And then set up a depot. That will ferry the weapons for us. From 3 to 2. Then we need a barracks. Then we need to import two weapons. Let's see if they... Yeah, I think they will want to wait for more, but maybe two is gonna be fine. Money is looking awful. We didn't take the bailout yet though. Okay, there we go. Let's see how this goes. December, okay, yeah, money is looking horrendous. 
horrendous. Now we should make money again, yes. They are bringing back ones. I need a fort, I need it really bad. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna do it. We are in need of it. Private economy is growing. Yes, we need to have the prosperity to unlock forums and other buildings. Enemy is at the door. This is just... The money is horrendous. It's the weapons. It's the weapons for sure. It's causing that an emigration. Ah, I would like to invest my money to get more, more stuff, but I really cannot. What's our weapons at? Can't tell us stop doing that yet. Hmm. We're getting into the same death spiral as last time, so need to be really careful about this. I'm gonna stop importing weapons for a bit. See if you can stabilize. Guns olives. We can send it. I don't think we have enough. It's just... The sand is not funneled in fast enough, maybe. Oh yeah, guards are pissed as well. This is all bad. Oh, we'll see. Uh, just seem like we cannot make money, but... Start to get temples. Try to recover. What's the big deal about this? It's currently being imports 4,000 still. It's the... Most likely, I would say it's the food imports as well. It might seem like a little bit, but it actually is a lot. So you need to constantly offset it with buttloads of other export. Yeah, I know you are mad, but what can I do? Okay, it's new year. Just make money. Why are we still not making money? I don't understand. They bought everything I have. No money to be had. Still in debt. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he is he is very mean to me. He doesn't want me to have nice things. We have lots of goods. We are selling lots of goods. It's just not enough. I think it's the food imports. Okay, we made it out of debt to quickly go back into debt, but we can deal with this. Every soldier that dies is a lot of economic damage to me. So, not great, but we survived that. This could be a UK map. It could. The, the, you know, intent was to make it a little difficult economically, but it can be fine once you expand it. That is, um, it's not a UK map because I can actually export bulk stuff. It's just actually getting it is a problem, you know. Which is the preferable way, I think. Just, you know, there is possibility. Unlike where you just, yeah, even if you do whatever, you cannot even make it, so why? <laughs> that's that's a very different core mechanic. What you have on most maps. Um, but this is bad. People are emigrating. I don't blame them. I don't really have jobs or money, so... <clears throat> you know, but... Uh, I'll set up a new quarry here. That's gonna bring us extra money, hopefully. This thing. It's four quarries for this. We can have three here. Yeah, that. But money. It's gonna eventually be fine, right? It's gonna recover. Go this way. Go this way. All the way up to the edge here. Go this way. And cut this off. Give them engineer. No, Caesar. Leave me. Leave me be. Just for a moment. No trade. And accept stone. 16 of it. Plus depot. Stone. From 4 to 3. Yeah. Should hopefully give us some more money. Low price on weed. That's actually significant. Let's 
So did Rome raise, uh, raise wages again? No. I was thinking that might have been part of the unrest. We should be making money now, it's just taking a while. Stone. Good, just keep piling it in. I need more spice though. Oh yeah, and speaking of spice, we need more spice. And let's start importing weapons again. It's crashing, but I kind of need it. Like, without it, we are not gonna have a good time. Let's get an olive farm here, or spice farm. Can we fit two? Can we cheese this? Probably not. Ah, of course not. It's made so that you cannot. I just always like to try. <laughs> um, card depot. Even on my own maps, just try to cheese the system. Okay. Olives, eight. And wait until it activates. And bring olives from five to three. If you check prices, olives are actually the most valuable thing you can export at the moment. So raw spice is at 70. Uh, so not bad, but actually getting it is a bit of a problem. And we are paying 170 for a piece of weapons, so yeah, that's it's pricey. But that's the price we have to pay for having military. Um, okay. So what's our next objective? It is... Private economy is growing. Threat of prosperity, yeah, right. And also, we are supposed to be opening something up, right? No, I think this is our only quest for now. Is it? I might be misremembering. I think it wants to. Caravanserai and the other thing, uh, we should have a message for that. Setting up defenses. Oh yeah, we need 16 legionaries and then we get the trade opportunities. Yeah. I don't pay even more wage. That's not good. If we'll be able to tax our people, it's gonna become slightly less horrible. But for now it's not good. We're definitely struggling a little bit. I could mine from these locations, but it's not preferable. But it's not that far away, I think it can cart over the goods without too many issues. Uh, we do have the labor for it. Why is it constantly switching to something I don't care about? I must be misclicking a hotkey for switching my uh, overlay for some reason, even though I don't know why I would want that specific overlay. Uh, let's get an engineer and a prefect. Plus a roadblock. She says mad. What else is new? Is this engineer for real? You are such, such a pain. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Imperial city of Arakin opens for trade. We are now well established and can trade with the largest city can Um yeah, we can trade with the uh, largest city of on Arrakis if you wish so. We should consider opening the route and importing some of the processed goods to allow our outpost to grow into more permanent settlement, especially plastic panels. Marble will be of great use to us. If you want to expand our industrial potential, we will need to We'll need a dedicated center, trading center, and proper public facilities. So, city has been unlocked and uh, construct trading center, caravanserai, and five large temples, reward workshops, and new resources. Yes, so not only Arakin, but also spaceport. 
has been unlocked, which does sell more of exotic goods, and it also buys spice, but it's very expensive to open. Um, with Arkeen, it's not that expensive, but it would also only buy sand from us at the moment. It does sell pottery and furniture, though, which is gonna be good. Ixion and Hydrophonics facility would buy stone. I need to check some of these. Quam merchants, yes, they would buy some spice. Hmm. Maybe later. For now, we cannot even process it anyway. Caesar is mad at me. It's the weapons. It's the freaking weapons. Plus gate prices. We have been approached by a merchant from Arkeen. If we uh, establish at least 10 warehouses to facilitate trade, he's willing to negotiate prices of important plus gate for us. We also invested 1400 solar into our outpost. Okay. So we got some money, which was immediately uh, used up. We got the fort full now, but yeah, at least we are not spending any more on that. Let's send him this. We can probably gift him as well. Let's wait for a medium gift. And uh, what's next? So sand and stone. We need to constantly keep this warehouse con uh, full. And there are a shit ton of carters here, so I think... It seems like it is constantly full, more or less. Yeah, maybe with the stone we could even get another one. Another card depot here, yeah. Stone from two to do three. And then opening another trade route that buys stone would be good. But which one is it gonna be? The water traders for seven freaking thousand. <laughs> mm. I don't have that kind of money. If we do that, we die, I think. We need to wait. Uh, what, what did I need for forums? Was it 30 freaking prosperity? It was. Um, okay. Well, let's get people a school and a theater. Plus, I'll have to give them gardens. I don't like gardens, but that's the only thing I have. So let's give them that. Plus some larari. I don't know what's the prosperity gap for a small castle. So we'll see. It's like 20 or something, I think. Maybe it is 30. I don't really remember. Emperor's gratitude. Let's put some gardens here as well. Okay, so if we have all of those, then our prosperity gap is 33. Okay. So we can actually achieve the ability to tax people even with small castle. I was thinking that when I was designing it, but I wasn't sure about the numbers. We are actually making some money now, which is good. I'm even considering another fort, but it's a huge investment. Also, traders are coming here, aren't they? Yeah. That's bad. It's causing me to run out of food, actually. That is pretty awful. Let's... Oh, what? What is it? Stone. I want to make a highway. <laughs> it's expensive, but it will help our city. Allow them to trade more per year. Because they leave the map faster. Okay. New industry is gonna be needed. This stone is just not enough. I need more. Mm, guards are pissed and military is bad. <laughs> Always, always need other things to take care of. Uh, okay, let's just spam some temples in the meantime. I will want some, some monuments as well. This is probably the last spam I'm gonna do. And a new fort, which is gonna be very costly for me, but I do need it. Uh, can I just have my overlay? Well, let's have, let's have a fort here.
I do not have walls, so we cannot wall this off. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Let's cut this. I probably want its own services here for this. Just roadblock this off. Actually, that roadblock needs to go a lot closer, like here. Plus, I'm thinking about a warehouse um, somewhere here. No traders except some stone and sand, I guess, as well. So that means that I can cut this road off now. Which would be beneficial for me. Let's get some depots. Need two of these. Raw materials. Let's get some sand. Sand and stone, and then we have depots that are gonna bring stone from six to three, and sand from six to three. Should mean that we have more goods to sell overall. Build a spacious area, I'll send it. I should consider opening another route, but the weapons imports are gonna be crushing for me, as they always are. I need to stop. I need to stop importing the weapons. <laughs> but, okay, it's February, maybe we can make the money up, yeah. Maybe it's fine. Run place more pages. Again. Okay, I need more, more depots, funnel goods there. Stone from 6 to 3. Uh, sand from 6 to 3. He wants 4 weapons, does he? That's bad for me. I can't do it, it's just gonna cause that. Fine. If he wants hit, he's gonna get it now. Um, I could also make stone here, but I think we are kind of running low. I should check December quota, see if we are maximizing or not. Send him the freaking weapons. He's constantly gonna be mad now. Let's decrease the weapons quota again for two. And this fort is full now. So it, if you count the money, it's like, you know, Two and a half thousand to fill up a single fort of legionaries worth of weapons plus it's the fort itself and the food for them and everything so it definitely is causing a lot of economic damage to me just having uh, having troops like this but yeah speeding up is gonna also help the food uh, imports if you make a uh, more highway caravan that would help me a lot as well all right, so here they come. That's another approach, actually. So let's, how, how the storages? No, natives. Let's put these here. Hmm. No, no housing. I'm just misclicking all over the place. Okay, watchtower. Couldn't be any worse than this. Probably not. But, <laughs> well, okay. Let's just do it. Let's see if we can defend. Mana is looking atrocious. It's not a few of them, that's for sure. 
Solar towers are working, but these both us need to be taken care of. Taken care of. His good, absolutely sure that that's gonna cost me a lot to replenish. We definitely need more trade. I might have to even go into debt to open up more. Let's see. Maybe we make money now, go out of debt, and then we go into debt to open up a trade route. Come on, buy something, anything. Almost there, but just always just hanging by a thread and not enough. Just shut that off. No weapons. Yes. So let it click. <laughs> oh, he's angry. Let's open up something. So what would be the best? Something cheap. I think there is a cheap trade route for X and Hydroponics facility. It is some stone per year, so not horrible. Let's see if we can recover. We definitely have the stone to sell them. Price doesn't pottery. I'm not importing pottery anyway. It's not something I can easily do here. Rome pays even more wages. Keep making money. Hopefully we'll recover. I'm not even importing weapons. So what's our current uh, budget? We are in deficit and it's construction. Yes. And also the trade route opening cost. And we are paying a lot in levy as well. Definitely not great. It's February. Oh, <laughs> he's mad. He's gonna kill me. Ah, uh, this is so bad. Okay, I can maybe chase him off with a gift. We'll see. But that's. I needed to open the trade route. I needed to try something because this is just stagna stagnating economy which doesn't lead anywhere. Uh, try the olives. Send him the olives. Yeah, now we are out of debt. But if we do any sort of. anything out of ordinary, we die most likely. Let's take a look. Trade receipts. Come imports. Yeah, it's still not looking great. Uh, can I can I do something about this? I could maybe put another depot here for the stones. Bring it from this is four, yeah. Four to three. Now we have some money, but I don't really trust myself with that. It's twenty one favor. I don't think that's enough to uh, offset him, but we'll see. If we get invaded, we die, though. They will immediately beeline it for the city, I think. And before my legionaries can reach. So, that's uh, awful. I could just cheesily get myself Caesar salary and then send him a big gift. But I could do mediums, which should be enough if we can send it off. Okay, let's defend here. Don't even have enough weapons to equip these. Loads of them. You should. We should be expanding our military. Don't shred me. Yeah, I'm probably dead. To this, even without Caesar. <laughs> oh no. Oh well, made it tougher than I than I remember, but then again, probably not in the best of shapes today. We might try again, but I don't want to make it easier though, I don't think. Fremen delegation arrives, yeah, that's the Grand Temple to Neptune, which unlocks your mission post. Uh, but we are nowhere near building Grand Temple to Neptune. Uh, some... Yeah, scarters without actually having the card in front of them. Oh, what did I want to say? Yeah, it's harder than I expected, but I think it's uh, different. <laughs> um. <laughs> Very frightened. It's Dune. Of course, we have legionaries. Ranged weapons are not a thing in Dune. Very unfortunate. Carpusher diamonds, yeah. 
despite all the funds I invested in your city, okay. and the Senate's generosity with credit, you have let me down. Your city has not repaid the funds it borrowed. My faith in you was misplaced, and I am forced to find another governor to take your place. Perhaps you will fare better in the new role I have in mind for you. Yeah, I don't think I'll make it easier. I'll just do it. Yeah, I don't like Legionaries, they're horrible. But it's the, what the map demands. You need to kind of be on top of the expansion. That's the one key thing. Like, you really don't have much of a leeway in terms of just sitting around and accumulating money. You, I might just, you know, make smooth out the progression system a little bit by having some of this open for better price or something because currently as it is it just kind of forces that i don't like forcing that punishment is to be selling the ocean of water on a is <laughs> expensive punishment <laughs> yeah clearly no i don't know what changes to make i don't want to make it necessarily easier but make it at least more approachable in terms of you know not forcing that is something i would like to have so what do we do about that i feel like no, maybe just adding something like um, making the trade routes cheaper might be an option. I'm not sure if it would necessarily help you know, all that much. This is. Yeah. Let's open this up. Let's go back to. City construction kit. Oh, assignment is there. Um, deal is, this is still kind of testing. Nobody completed the map yet, but I feel like, mm, you know, it's too punishing currently. But how to fix it and not make it trivial is the question, because it can very easily get trivial. No, the quotas. Have you seen the quotas? Um, quotas are fine. Prices are not fine, but if I make it anything else, people will be sitting on 20,000 denarii early game. And that's not what I want. Um, Quota is large. It's 80 sand, 80 stone for one, then 40, 40 for another one. You can export lots of things. It's just opening the trade routes in timely manner. I think the time scale of the mission in general is tight, too tight. The attacks grow too large too quickly for you to reasonably have that big of an army. Uh, money is the main reason, but I don't want to make it trivial and that's a problem. Uh, I could possibly raise the price for these things and then drop it off again yeah uh if you're at work i can understand but yes the quotas are very large it's just i think i might actually just make it so that uh the price initially starts higher but then it drops off possibly but then again i i would have to go into the events for it and it's always terrible no this is not it With three, this is it. No, I'll have to. I'll have to find it. Just the worst. Resource six. What is resource six? Clay. Uh, I need a resource three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The resource thirteen. This is sand. Let's make it worth 40 instead at the start. And then this is gonna be worth 40 as well. But we'll set another event chain for price change. Which is gonna happen on year six. I'm gonna have sand drop off by four and six. Stone drop off by four, and that's still gonna leave it plus one denari per piece extra, which could make a difference. But early game, it's gonna be more lucrative. Yeah, I know, but it's you know, you will get a whole bunch of new quota as the new cities unlock with the events, and so you can just keep exporting more and more and more. And you will also get uh, things that you need to pay for, but. I think my main issue for me was I was not able to get the forum unlocked uh, because I couldn't get the 30 prosperity in time. 
which is a big no-no. Um, so that's that's bad. Uh, let's. I'll actually add extra two two hundred denarii for the starting money again. It's gonna be less on very hard, of course, because you start with way less. If you don't plan very hard, the map would be easy. Um, but I think this is fine as it is. So let's just do these changes, and this should make it more smooth, hopefully, for everyone. And let's save the map. Sarkis. I can show you actually the empire. Uh, it's just not gonna probably show you the quota, but like this is what you get. It's a shit ton of cities. These two unlock as well for trading. And like, you know, 80 80 is this is like 60 or 40, I don't remember. You can sell oil and olives, you can sell more of the same here, you can sell more oil and olives here, you can sell more of that here, plus here, and then you can unlock these two as well. It's a lot of trade, it's just takes time to unlock it, it's like at the start you have couple and then, you know, again, the deal is not to make it trivial, if you make it trivial the map is not gonna be enjoyable, so um, it's just very tough to balance it without making it also just feel like it's unfair, and that's not the goal to make it unfair, it's goal to make it good, but takes some effort so before we do that i need to set up the scenario let's go ahead into the map let's wait for the natives to be right around here for making a save let's drop it to 80 zoom out like this and save it this is gonna be conquest of arrakis overwrite the file and go back so this is gonna be the new file i'm gonna upload it it's a, it's a lot of resources, but the, I like you to be able to expand over the map and just extract resources from different locations. That was the idea. And there are lots of locations for it. It's just, you know, force logistics. Uh, but uh, early game was too punishing, especially due to the weapon prices, I think, as well. I could have made them a little bit cheaper, but let's try this, if this works. I'll be checking that out at some point soon again, I just don't know when. That's gonna be it. Uh, thanks for watching. We've played two maps today. I'll see. Uh, I'll probably upload this as one big thing to YouTube for people to watch. But I'll need to do a separate, separate stream of of Arrakis again at some point. But I don't want to do it tomorrow because I've read it recently, all the events, and just doing it over and over and over each day is just not enjoyable. So I'll just wait. Yeah. See you around. Bye. Let's raid someone. Berelix is playing something. Let's raid Berelix. It's playing Dominion's 5.